teams that won through their sections. And, of course, this afternoon in commentary to start us off is Mr Brett Clifford. Good afternoon, Brett. G'day, Brian. How are you going? Yes, uh, just reading through the teams here. It's a who's who of bowls, isn't it? Kiwana, Russell Van Homrijk. Mark Williams, Keith Whaley, and the skipper's Joel Anderson. Now for Belmont, Rick Barnes leading, Tom Mullen, John Finlayson, and Brendan Egan, or as they call him, Duna. Duna, mate, what a, what a, what a wonderful... Uh as I said, mate, they've won their uh, sections, so they're in fine form. Yep. Um... And uh, Duna and uh, Jolly. Jolly's been out of the game for uh, for a little while. Had a bit of a break and come back, um, mate. As though he's never uh, never yeah, left the game before. Exactly. So playing Brentley, and of course, of course, in the other uh, matchups, you've got um, Young Kane Nelson playing Richard Strawbridge, and of course, Jacob Nelson playing Kurt Brown. Yeah, oh, <laughs> it's just a who's who, isn't it? It's it really going to be a colossal yeah, it a colossal battle is. between these uh, two great clubs. Um, absolutely, uh, yeah, it should be superb bowls. And again, we've got a great atmosphere. We've got uh, a lot of people inside still having lunch. Uh, a few of them are just starting to drift outside again now. Uh, conditions are still the same as they were previously. Very blustery and um, overcast. But no rain though, Brett. No, no, hopefully none at all. Not even a sprinkle. So they're just finishing their roll-up now. I've been told the bell will go at quarter two, or they'll start play at quarter two. There's no bell, so... Well, they tell me it's uh, 22.8 degrees here at Cleveland, and they reckon it feels like 18.8. Well, I guess it's cool breeze, isn't it? A lot of that's got to do with, no doubt, the, uh, the wind factor. But according to uh, my phone and the bomb weather forecast, they reckon there's... No rain. Okay. So how good's that? I'm going with them. I'm going with them, mate. <laughs> I'm all over it. I see Rigas has already joined us. Hello from Tangaluma. How are you hey, going, Rigas? Good day, Maria. How are you, my dear? Great to see you yesterday. I hope you and boyfriend are having a great uh, great day today. But, uh, of course, the skips just... Um, well, sorry, the team's just having their final roll-up. Yes, we're in for a colossal head-to-head -head match here, I'll tell you. They're very evenly matched right across the paddock here, and uh, I'm expecting a really, really close battle. Yeah, no, it should be a... Uh, you can just see Joel there with just the wind. It's just uh, very blustery, of course. It's a bit of dark cloud out the back there, but um, they tell me it's most of it's going to bypass us. Well, that's good. So I've been informed. So tell us who you're barracking for, who you're going for. I can see Barb saying, let's go, Thunder. Well, even got the purple hearts there, my friend. So it's a great conclusion to a wonderful uh, few months of pennants and um, comes down to this, whoever yeah. wins the state title. So we now, see uh, Belmont have won the toss. They have, and Rick Barnes will lead off. G'day, Steve Carter. How are you, my friend? <laughs> Stop rubbing it in for the Isle of Man. 18 is our summer temperature. <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh, mate, it's golf for Queensland, my friend, I tell you. Okay, here we go. The first bowl of the final. Rick Barnes leading off for Belmont. Very well pointed. Yeah, you've got a lovely first up bowl here. You're just going to oh, sit just in behind yeah. the head. Great lead bowl. Brilliant. Well... And Russell leading off for the Kawana Thunder. He might be a little bit tight on that one. Yeah, see, we saw Russell play, uh, that's the fact, the rink we televised up at um, Kawana, Brett, um, in the Premier League season. Mm. And Russell was leading up there that day, mate, and uh, he had a very good game. Yep. Had a very good game. Okay, Rick with his second bowl. His first was a cracker, and he's not badly down with this one either. 
Steve Carter says uh, he's going well and he'll be here after his roast lunch. Uh, mate, if there's any <laughs> leftovers, bud. How about down, Steve. this for two lead bowls? <laughs> two great bowls. Bingo. Yeah, two very good lead bowls. Oh. Putting a bit of pressure on Russell. Yes. Yeah, he had actually very good uh, he, weight on his first yes, bowl. Yes, he did, Brian. He had very good weight. So yeah, just better line on this one. Much better. Joel's a bit interested in this one. Yeah. Yeah, he's happy with that. Says, okay. That's something I can work with. Certainly is. Peter's just asking, how are you going, Brian? G'day, Peter. How are you, mate? Peter Tom Cook. Mullins uh, playing two here for Belmont. Yeah, just coming around the back here. But, uh, one thing I can show you that uh, I'm very surprised if Duna builds ahead where they're going to smack it. <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah. I think I try and leave some, some gaps out there. And we've got uh, Mark Williams. Yes. Playing two for Joel. This is the sweeping hand. Played this pretty well. Certainly has. What a good effort. Perfect weight. Well, that's a very good third shot. Mm. Very good third shot. Not badly down here. Played this very well. Yes. Would just love to get around that so it doesn't sit fat. Perfect bowls. Well, he has. It's Lovely bowls there. It's still it's still there to be landed, upon. Yes, isn't it, just though? landing on the wall. Just land on the wall. That's and it. You're going to get a result. He played it very well with his first bowl too, uh, Brett. Yes. Just needs to tighten it up one bowl and put a foot on it and arrive yeah, to this head. He's got a bit wider by the looks of that. But the yes, he's put the weight on, but just... Uh, but if it keeps running, it's going to be a, a good miss. Anything yes. around the back. Oh, for sure. It means certainly. Joel can play any way he wants, doesn't it? Yes. Yes, Duna just saying. Let's not fatten it up. Yep. Draw to the well, bowls. Two the very back. experienced threes in John Finlayson and and um, Keith Keith Whaley. Yes. Both very experienced. Of course, uh, we've had Keith on quite a bit of late. Um, We've all his expertise that he's been uh, state titles, and of course another good bowl there by oh uh, yeah, lovely bowl by John once again right on line, officially known as uh, Finno. <laughs> Why? <laughs> he's a good lad, John. But, um, Keith, of course, has had a wonderful season. Uh, we actually featured him in these. Um, State District Mixed Pairs, if I remember correctly. Good effort here. Yeah, She's good a try. Beautiful weight on he that. He rocks that over. No, not quite. Beautiful weight, as you yeah, said. So on do that know. Bowl. Just asking to arrive onto those bowls there. Mm. Not a bad line. Could be a little bit quick. Well, yeah, just a bit quick to, to come under the head there. Mm. Didn't want to disturb anything with that, that's for sure. Joel's saying, let's reach up here now. Let's yep. disturb this head. Yep. G'day, Alan from Scotland. How are you? And Barb's. Good luck, Bagara. And, of course, must be in the ladies. I think. Very, very close. Will it just... No, it's going to go under the head. What a great try by Keith, though. He wasn't far away from it. And that's the type of weight... That Joel was asking. That's what he was after, That's yeah. He needs asking. a bit of disturbance there. Yeah. yeah. So we've just got the iPads up and running, courtesy of Tony Allen. Yes, of course. Now, Duna. He might be looking to get a bowl just over here. 
in case it's oh I tell you what how much weight's he got on this he just doesn't want to fatten this head up and he has well he has a little mm. bit there yes well okay good day everybody Donald Gordon from Nevada USA Hello, the cameras are playing up. We've got a minor oh, there. Right? Look out, there was a hit then. The cameras just take off on the zone. <laughs> I think we've uh, got the jack in the bin. Yep. Bin says says try and draw it. Yes. Good hit by young Joel. Sorry about Certainly the uh, camera just taking yes. off on its own there. It just has a mind of its own. Uh, Dune is having a good look at this. It's just not yeah, going to pull up. just over. Yep. Yeah. Joel, after that first bowl. Nice little settler for him. Yep. Yep. Jack in the bin. G'day everybody, good to have you on board. Hope you enjoy the telecast. Tell us who you're barracking for. Yes, no David, it is uh, Broad Beach Bagara final for the ladies. That's the Capella Bar. Yes, we'll give you updates for that as Bowls Queensland update. gives us those results. As we see a lot of the, the, Bagar the Kiwana girls coming back to barrack for their, uh, their boys. Now Joel... I think it was the one shot. Yeah, one shot to Kawana. Yep, looks that way, doesn't it? Yes. One to Kawana. Now, interesting little uh, tactic here. Matt on the tee. Joel's right up the green. Here we go. Okay, so, has a little plan here. Yes, obviously uh, favouring the short ends by the looks of it there, Brett. Yes, making sure that uh, the touch is there. James is just saying the greens look immaculate, yes. like concrete. Well, it's a little bit uh, hard. We've had a little bit of rain. Running absolutely magnificent. they are running beautifully. And a big call out to Peter Browning's young bloke. He's uh, Peter, of course, the greenkeeper here. Young Jack. Young Jack. Jack Browning. Yeah. Your father does a great job here, mate. Certainly does. Got a little bit of a drenching this morning, uh, but that's part of the job for the greenkeepers. Yes, that's part and parcel of our job, my friend. It certainly is. Okay, so it's... He's throwing the leads off a little bit, this little shorty, but I'd anyway. I'd say, uh, Tony, I'd say he's probably running around about 14 and a half, 15. Which is, yeah. uh, we've had a few little showers, as mm. uh, Brett was just alluding to, saying before, that uh, had a bit of rain, a mm. few little sprinkles. So uh, we see a nice reply here from Russell. Yes, just uh, Sitting just line. behind the head. As you can see, the um, wind is really it's certainly blustering. It's it blustering. is. It's chopping and changing. and So it looks like uh, Kiwana's had a uh, win on every rink. Well, that's the way their leads are rolling the kitty. Yes, certainly have. So have got Rick Barnes with his next bowl. Tell you what, he's corrected this pretty well. He it, has Brent? played it very nicely. That's a nice bowl. Yeah, lovely correction. Yes, he's uh, started off again the way he did on the first end. Yep. Yes. The wind has really just picked up, eh? It's Certainly blowing has. chairs around. and Certainly has. So you'll have to forgive some of the bowls because sometimes when you let it go, you've got not much of a breeze and all of a sudden, bang. Uh, Tom Mullins sticking to his forehand. Yes, doesn't look too badly down here. 
Billy just got to beat this blue bowl, doesn't he? Yeah, that's it. Which he has done. Couple of shots there for Belmont. Not badly pointed here as well. Just gets down to the weight. Is it going to slide by? Is it going to lock the bowl? Yeah, lock the bowl. So only the one now to Belmont. Yes. That's the bowl Tom, Tom has to beat. Yes, it's... Uh, oh, they're a foot and a half behind the jack right on line. Well pointed again. Now, once again, is it going to sit on this? It's just slid by. Good try. Yep. So it's one, one to the uh, Belmont combination at this stage. Yes, it is. Any trail here from Kawana can make themselves two. They've only got a trail at about a foot or so. Not badly pointed here. Will it hold that line? But and just there gonna it cut. goes. Yes. It's had to be a bit wider for that, but he's yeah. had perfect weight for he what he was after. Certainly there. did. The weight was Absolutely spot, on. spot on. Yeah. Oh, boy, the breeze. Holding, look at this holding, holding, well, this holding is, with the wind change. Look at that. And this is the hard part is that, as I said, like when they're playing away from the clubhouse, you got the wind behind them. Mm. And the extra run that you have with your bowl with that wind, disgusting as it is, and then they're coming back this way and they're into the breeze. You see, Keith Wiley with his uh, next bowl, he's got a nice line on this one too, just going to hold out there though. Yeah, not a bad. Mm. Right on line. And Duda saying, listen. Mm. This will be the turning hand. The breeze is just slightly going across the head here. We'll just see what happens. Should turn real late, real quick. Kerry, next weekend we're broadcasting from Boat as the Bowls Club. Uh, uh, James, no, not giving an opinion. <laughs> Opinion? No opinion here. No opinion? No opinion. <laughs> Leads to circumstances and other opinions. So I hope everybody's enjoying the telecast. Brought to you by the Gold Coast Tweed District Media Team on behalf of Bowles Queensland. A great initiative of Bowles Queensland to get this great game of ours out to everybody. So please share it out there and let's get it out to as many people as we possibly can. Charles See a nice bowl here. Very for well down. Just slid by. The weight was great on that bowl. So important bowl now for, for Duna. Of course, yes. for those of you who don't know, that Brendan Egan, his uh, nickname's Duna. Is that because he gets cold in winter and he likes to pull <laughs> the covers up? And well, well, if every really <laughs> is, is to Brendan these days. I no, think he every, doesn't. I think everyone calls him Duna. <laughs> so. It certainly is, Mitchell. It's very windy and gusting. Where is Kiwana? Kiwana's up on the Sunshine Coast, uh, Kerry. Yes, it certainly is. Now he's tightened his line here. Needs to get around this bowl. Well, the other option is if you come across Under and it. sit there and block and it. And he has too. It's close to doing that. Good afternoon, Yvonne Wallace. Watching from Victor Harbour with your son, Simon. Good on you, Simon. How are you, buddy? Mate, you missed the uh, Canungra Classic, mate. Gonna let you know, mate. The uh, the boys had a uh, very enjoyable day yesterday. By the looks of their uh, heads this morning, they're all walking around with a band aid on their forehead, oh, my friend. Oh God! <laughs> now Charles is having a real good look at this. He to come under that bowl, he might have to trail it too far. Yes, so, uh, but he can sit the bowl. Well, he can that's, sit the bowl there. That's what they're getting at. Sit now. and stay. Yes. Sit and stay. It's, again, that's got to play it with. We have to play it with good weight. Exactly right. Well, he's close now. Has he got the weight to carry that line? He is awfully close on this bowl. Yeah, just slid by the shot bowl.
Belmont's holding shot. Joel's just having a look at the head. <laughs> yeah, Duna's delivered his bowl. His first bowl swept across a fair way, so he might be a little bit tight on this one. Yes, he is. One shot there to Belmont. Looking, well, they're having a little look at the second one. Okay, wait a second. I think I put down two fingers by the looks of it. Yeah. I'd say Keefe has, has conceded uh, two. Good on you, Simon. Always good, mate. Yes, Francis, we don't have to wear masks here, my friend. We've uh, been COVID-free for a, a, quite some time. We certainly have been. We're all very conscious of the fact, though, of not spreading it. So we're um, all the clubs have a COVID-19 safety plan in check, and um, they're abiding by it. Was two shots there to, there was uh, two shots, to Belmont. Yes. Unfortunately, Nathan, we can't help it, mate. If they want to stand in front of the camera, mate, uh, it, is a, it is a state final, my friend. We're not going to tell them anything because... Oh, exactly right. We've asked them not to stand there, but uh, in the heat of the battle, if they stand out there, well, so be it, my friend. Sorry, yes. we can't do anything about it. If you're urging on a bowl and it becomes a, a vital one... Yeah. Well, it is, it is a state title. It's a state title. Oh, I tell you what. <laughs> Bit of a kill there. Yes. Kurt Brown. Kurt Brown just yes. had a kill. He was a couple down. <laughs> yeah, just played up shot, that's <laughs> all. Bit of an up shot. <laughs> played it with lovely weight. Yes. Controlled weight. Yeah, very much. <laughs> so we see uh, Ricky with, Rick with his first bowl. Yes. Good weight. It's just a tad tight. That's all it is. Lovely yeah, he had weight. good weight on that, didn't he? Yeah. Of course, uh, Kurt has joined the Kiwana Club from Tweed, and it's a great little uh, pick-up for them as the bowls coordinator. Oh, I think you do a great job up there. Oh, he certainly will. I think he's... Uh, a lot of friends he's got up there. Yeah, and, he'll, uh, do, he'll do a fantastic mm. job up there. Had a couple of little extra uh, little tales to tell as uh, Julie uh, Keegan's gone over the Kiwana, and so has Bolivia Millerick. Have they? Yes. There you go. Rumours. Rumours. Well, we'll see. Rumours. We'll see. Yeah. <laughs> well, I think Bolivia's uh, and Hubby have got a house up there now. Bought a new house. and Blast House Mountains. Yeah. They have. Yeah. Glass House. So, just down the road. Uh, Russell with his next bowl. He's got a better grass line on this one. How's his weight? Just Thank you, Nick. Running. Yes, uh, Julie has been confirmed to be at Kiwana. So Tom Mullins with his first bowl, playing his backhand. Uh, Tony, it's just um, three games of 21 ends, my friend. That's correct. Yes, the master board of 63 ends will tell the tale of champion or runner-up. That's ever so true. Hello, Susan and the Burnett Bowls Club. Welcome aboard. So Mark Williams with his first bowl had a beautiful line, but just... Pulling up round about oh, three foot short. I don't think that would really hurt the scorer at this stage. If he had a bit more weight on it, probably may off. Yeah, not badly down here. Gets under this bowl. He's under it. Yeah, a little bit of run on it, that's yep. all. Hard to judge the yellow bowls too. It's, it's, <laughs> you see, when you when you play, with, even when you play with someone, it's very hard to judge. How Lind much Lind you, Lindy and I were talking about that in the last <laughs> game. How hard it was to judge the, uh, oh. the yellow bowls, but it wasn't that hard to judge them because the young boy using them used them so well. Exactly right. Young Riley Bernard, 
There's a great uh, correction there. Yeah, Giles just urging that on a little bit Ooh, more. A I little think bit. that would have to be yeah, shot, I yeah, think. It's close anyway. It's fallen in too, so hard to say. And we've got John John Finlayson now on the mat playing his backhand. We are not doing the scoreboard. We are just putting down what's come up by the people that are doing them, the managers. Oh, great bowl there. And just for everybody, we've just been informed that in the ladies' final, it is Broad Beach 11, Pagara 9, after nine ends. And just with a score... No, there was an inquiry under the score here. Seven, seven, two. We got it up as eight, two. Someone said, should the score be seven, two? We'll get around to that, Tim. Yep. At the moment, they've only played five ends. There's a long way to go. Yeah. Someone's on it. That's okay. That's okay. That's <laughs> Don't okay. do it again. Yeah. Now, the first time he's made the mistake since February 1962. Thank you. Just needs to get under it. He's going to get an edge and slip by the jack. Whoa, oh, boy. Gee whiz, that was close. That was close. Yes. In actual fact, that... Um, Mistake he made in 1962, he rather did like barbecue sauce. Yes. Doesn't like butter. No. But loves a croissant. Mate, but also too, <laughs> loves his vegetables because he calls chips vegetable, potato. <laughs> okay, here we go. Doona on the mat. He's playing his back in. Beautiful deliveries. Bowl starting to work really Here nicely it comes. now. Wow. Not going to be far away. Yes. Fell over. Well, must be close. Yes, it would be. Okay. Joel's going back down now. Stephen Carter, I hope you've got plenty of leftover roast, mate. Are you bringing it down here for us, mate? <laughs> <laughs> Is it pork? I don't know. Could mm. be lamb. I don't care. Might be beef. Beef's all right. I'll take anything. <laughs> <laughs> uh, there you go. Good on you, Steve. All right, now, Joel. Great to see Joel Anderson back in our great game. Certainly Joel is. Joel Anderson. Yes. Always been a very steady player. Yes, he has success. been. Great uh, success. Grass line, spot on. Certainly is, Could yes. Now, Duna. Add to a little bit of weight. This needs to take a, a foot or so off and drop on the line there. Oh, and I'll tell you what. He's not going to be far away. He's very, very close. <laughs> oh, boy. oh, just ran through, didn't yes. it? Yes. <laughs> G'day, Tim Smith. How are you going? Now, Joel's going to follow this one down. Well, he's got it out there. He has. Oh, gee whiz, he's just going to pull up. That's all, yeah. He had a beautiful line on what the young man was after, too. Now, one at the moment, and we're having and a little measure, measure for the rest. Here we go. i tell you what, it's going to be close. Yeah, at once again, it's hard to tell angles from behind here, but the tape never lies. No. And they're sure doing it, uh, Brian. It can, it can be rubberized. But I've got a good tape. <laughs> I've had people want to buy that tape. One, One shot, shot to Belmont. Yes. Long way to go on the game. 63 It certainly ends. is. Yes. Strap yourselves in. Uh, Russell, get a few drinks. Russell <laughs> saying that the Belmont colours are the same as Port City, New South Wales. Oh, okay. Oh. Belmont Blaze. 
Of course, Belmont is a uh, suburb of Sydney, of uh, Brisbane. <laughs> suburb of Brisbane. Two nice greens at Belmont. You played up there, Brett? Belmont? Yeah. Yes, I have. Have you? Mm. They tend to play their Premier League games at night. Night time, yes. yes. Yes, and it can trap you in a little bit. The greens run lovely, but at a certain stage during the night, they drop about a second, second. really quickly. quickly. Yes, they do. And it can be a little bit daunting. you just got to, you know, take Put your that time. Put on. Oh, yes. Is Belmont on the Gold Coast? No, it's up in Brisbane. Yep. No, and no Hawks or Bulls because... Um, the Gold Coast uh, didn't play men's pennants. The ladies did. No, the, that's right. We didn't play pennants. Yes, there's the scores there. 3-1 to Belmont on rink eight. Yes, we will be giving you the ladies' scores when they come through to us. Yes, Bowls Queens then will update us and we will we, let you know. We're not, we're not at Capella Bar, so when we get information, we'll be giving it to you straight away. The score for this game is 8-3 to Kiwana after seven ends. Now we see a couple of good starters. Now Rick's well down here. Um, yeah, yeah, he just ran through. Right. Just ran through a little bit, just trying to make sure he was up. Um, it's got to be you because the link's going great guns here. is not a problem. Yes, we haven't got any problems at the moment. Yes, no, Belmont's representing Yeah, Karen, zone there, is one. A, <laughs> there is a Belmont in Lake Macquarie, but no, we're talking about Belmont in Brisbane. Yes, Brisbane. <laughs> Big place, up north. Yes. So. Now, Tom... Tom Mullins got a nice line on this, Brett. Yes, he has. Slips around this bowl. Just needs to pull up now. The green's got a lovely finish on oh, it. I mean, look mate. at the... It's just... Couldn't speak more highly of the greens that Peter Browning has dished up, uh, mate, for over 20 years. They're uh, absolute superb, my friend. Greens here are noted for absolute excellence. Excellence. Mark Williams' bowl just uh, shot across the head there. Just obviously not enough grass. No. Yes, so out a little bit wider this time. No, actually. Oh, yes. Here Wait a is. second. Look at that just holding there. Here yeah, it, look comes. it comes. Now. Oh, slip by. There you go. <laughs> and fell over. So. Yes. We got the ski cheer squad around us <laughs> cheer here. Squad there's, around us, there's, yes. there's plenty of people here enjoying the game and lots of support for their club and mates. Oh, Mark didn't like that one neither. He's turned no, his back he on turned that his one back very straight quickly. away, but he. Oh, I can see why. I was going to say he might sit the yellow, but no. Yeah. Good to see you back, Beverly. Had a good lunch. Now settle down for the afternoon. John's bowl finished basically jack high, but a um, little bit wide. Didn't come back. Uh, Keith's not going to be too far away with this one. Uh, just now we might. No, he's just going to slip by again. There he goes, yeah. Yep. It's made it shotterer. Is there a word, shotterer? Is it shotterer? <laughs> we just made it. <laughs> so we have... Begara at 12. Broadbeach 13. Mm -hmm. After 12 ends. See another great bowl there from John Finlayson. Oh, it certainly is. We've got... Uh, just, I'm not too sure on the first... Names, but we'll just go uh, Cook 5, Melrick, that'll be Bolivia 5, um, Adele, Pursehouse 3, Julie Keegan 4, and Kingston 4, Inch 4. 
overall. 12 to Bagara, 13 to Broad Beach after 12 ends. Tight game. Very tight game. Yes. And thanks very much to Bowles Queensland for that information. Very good. We do appreciate it. Linda Morish, thank you very much, Linda. Once again, our match committee does, they do a wonderful job, mate. They really do. So we see uh, Brendan Egan at the moment just talking to John Finlayson's. Karen, yes, they are. Their first. This is the first division. And Gold Coast play Gateway in Zone 1 to see who represents that zone. And this year, the men at the Gold Coast, we didn't play pennants, mainly because of the COVID restrictions that were on at the time. Yes. And, of course, uh, Belmont won their pennant finals in Gateway, Division 1. They beat uh, Vicky Point. Yes, in the final. Old Bakes' uh, Bakes home team. club. Yeah, pretty Sean handy, Baker. pretty handy win to the boys. Very good win. Have a look at this bowl turn. Turn it, boy, oh boy. <laughs> Lovely on. weight, but it's right turned angles. a mile. The wind's right picked angles. up. Dunas going. What happened there? there. <laughs> no, it looks like Joel's going to have a hit. Yeah, well he can get both the bowls He's here. He's got them too. Bang, got them both. Clean as a whistle. Bowl. Never moved anything else. Great bowl there by Young oh, Joel yes. Anderson. Now, John's just having a look. All you've got to do is beat that bowl, he says. And there, um, once again, it this goes to show if you've got a good drive on you, how you can turn the head around. Oh, yes. Oh, there's plenty of firepower between these two. Don't <laughs> yeah, worry about right. that. Now he's gone right out. Now, will he get the same breeze this time as well? It really ripped across because of the breeze the last time. Oh, he's short. Wow. He didn't let it go. He's, yeah, a bit perplexed about that. Well. Keith reckons they're one down. Yes, Keith's saying, well, we're one down there, so yeah. they, they must have been three down before, so. Yep. Joel says, all right, what's the best? There we go. Just under, just around that bowl. Joel says, okay, sounds good to me. Tell you what, he's not going to be far away. Yes, here it comes. Look at this turning now. Beautiful bowl there by Joel Anderson. That's the shot bowl. Lovely bowl. Two great bowls. Good yep. hit and a yep. back to a draw. Yep. Shows a bit of class there. Absolutely. Absolutely. Who was the best ever bowler in Australia? I'll tell you who it was. He came out here a few times and he comes out there occasionally as well. Alex Marshall. Yep. <laughs> yeah. And he stands alone on a pedestal as far as I'm concerned. I know you're talking about Australian bowlers, but I'm saying he yeah. is the best in the world. It's very hard. Like, I mean, I've been lucky where I've been watching bowls now from way back in the 80s. And you can't really, when with the bowls changing in that breath, exactly, you really can't. It's a bit like football. I mean, you can't compare... Kickers, Graham Langlands, the no, you Slater. can't because the ball's changed and it goes a lot further. further. And also too, the rules have changed, and it's the same yeah. with bowls with the with the different the um, bias on the bias bowl. On it, exactly know? right. Yeah. Uh, my personal opinion, uh, besides probably a handful of players, and this is only my personal opinion only, is that I honestly think that a lot of the newer players who are using these new bowls wouldn't have survived on quick greens with an old bowl. Well, I started with a set of Dunlops that used to come back up the green <laughs> towards you. Yeah, that was when bowls was bowls, <laughs> mate. Because, see, I'm under the opinion, having been in the game so long, and not like most administrators that are trying to please bowls companies, where I have the opinion that they should be looking after bowlers and there should be a minimum drawing bowl. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry, but they should be. In the 80s, they got paid to play, or believe me, right now, they got paid to play, and they still do get paid to play. Yeah. 
So you're not a bad starter here. For Rick, just ran through a bit. And there, once again, can't emphasise enough playing this way. The wind's yes, behind them. Exactly right. The wind's behind them. It's carrying on their bowls, and it's also changing the line because the finish shot will keep dragging through. Yep. It does, Anthony. It's very hard to compare apples and oranges. You know, it's. Yep. Okay, so Rick. So Peter Leon out there, of course, the uh, yes. state singles champion Certainly playing three is. for Richard Strawbridge. Oh, the Ponce of Leon. The old puss. <laughs> yes. He told me he should have been on the TV rink because he's a current state singles champion, so what's going on? Yes. Well, <laughs> fortunately it doesn't work that way, Ponce. It doesn't. <laughs> Yes, just dropped in there. Yeah, he just dropped in. Yeah. Now, Tom, something close is needed. Get it out there because it's going to swoop home. Yeah. Look at the finish Tom just on running this. through slightly. Yes. He had the grass line was oh, absolutely spot on. He's nailed the line. Absolutely. So Mark with his next bowl. I think he may have just overcorrected here slightly. I'll actually agree with you there, uh, TJ, that the, one of the best I've ever played with was Rob Perella. Hard man to play for, but boy, I showed him a lot of respect and his talent was ab absolutely phenomenal. Oh, I think Rob's just an absolute standout. I agree wholeheartedly with oh, that, you know. Boy. Oh. Played with him for four years, never lost a game of fours. Great bowl there. Is there a beautiful nice correction there from, from Tom? Tom, yes. Nicely down here too. Yeah, too. He's played this very well. Certainly has. He's going to turn a lot late. It's almost going to touch the jack, and it has. Yeah, oh, great. a little bit of lucky there. It's, Gee whiz. It, the bowl didn't fall. He played that very well, didn't oh, he? Oh, certainly he did. He really did. That's a uh, beautiful bowl there by Keith. Yeah, Duna's saying, listen, while it's there, let's just uh, trail the jack. We've got the best at the back there. Tom's bowl's waiting behind as yeah. well. Even though they're holding, sometimes you've got to play the shot while it's there. a little bit wide on that yeah it was a great bowl too wasn't it Larry Larry Mullen so Keith with his second bowl he doesn't have to change much Brett it doesn't have to change much <laughs> at, all. at all he brings it in a bowl he'll trail a jack there or sit yeah. the buff too yeah, he's just and a bit wide with this one, well, though. Anything behind is good value because yeah. if he stays on, just got to stay on. He stayed on, too. Yes, so, well. Yeah. Very I, handy. I see Joel clapping that natural face. Yes, face he's looking at beauty. what's going to happen in the future. Yeah. <laughs> a lot tighter on this one. Okay. I don't know whether you'll carry that line. It's hanging on there, but no, it's just... Just the weight. That held a very, very good line. Didn't it? It held. Yes. Did. Yes, I can't see this head staying the way it is. It looks very fat and very easy to play a nice little bowl up under that short bowl and Brian's just leaving the chair, and I'll welcome in shortly, Lindsay Ponting. 
Okay. Now, Joel, Joel's got the best backward here. Interesting choice of shot. I thought he might have just tried to play up under the head. Yes, he's... Duna's having a real good look at this. He knows what could be coming. So. And welcoming back into the commentary. Lindsay Ponting, well, welcome, Mark. Thank you very much, Brett. Cracker of a game. Oh, I knew it was going to be. Yep. <laughs> Yes, Belmont's first game against uh, Elchester was was tight the whole way through. Yes. They snuck away towards the end. And now Duna's trying here. to get this ball under the head, but he's got to be careful. He doesn't... Oh, Ooh. punch that through was what I was getting at. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Uh, Joel's got a, a couple of little catches there on the edge of the ditch. His problem is, how many seconds has he got if his own bowl goes clean? Yeah. Just trying to arrive, sit the shot bowl or trail the jack. Will he come back from there, Brett? They have been, but uh, just occasionally. Now, you can see that the weight was good, yes, but yeah. just uh, needed a tighter line. Not that much tighter, right? Mel? Well, no. Old Duna's having a real good look at this. He's He's got a shot planned. He tried to play under the, the head the last and, and click that bowl out. He's got shot. Do you push it? Well, will he be playing, looking to play that same shot again? Well... Don't know he's that he will be. He's changing up, yeah. yeah Look, I, if he, I uh, imagine he's just going to try and just play up to it around that short bowl. That's it, yes. And if he arrives and just trails the jack a little bit, that'd be very good. Mm. He's, he's somewhere very in close the area. Here. He's just well. Oh. He needs to get. He needs to get it fat because no, it's yeah. he's got out of it all right. He rolled it over and moved it the jack again. It was a great effort. It was a fine effort. Weight was very good on the bowl. One shot there to Belmont. Very good try. Oh, of course, David Bright as well. But then you're going to compare every bowler of every age. I mean, <laughs> well, he would. I mean, how far back do you want to go? Bazisto in Australia. Yeah. <laughs> Brett Wilkie. Brett Wilkie. I mean, you can, it's too hard. Oh, of course it is. <laughs> And then I'm leaving out the young guys these days. What? Nah. Can't go down that road. No, it's like any other sport. Trying to uh, <laughs> compare errors. Is Sir Francis Drake. Hard. Okay. I'm, I'm hearing you. <laughs> <laughs> yes, here goes. How far do you go back? <laughs> <laughs> Sir Francis well, you can't Drake. go much further back than no. Sir Francis Drake, can you? No. Yeah, Rick's just a little bit over on that one. <laughs> oh, that wind is really, really gusting bad. So Ricky Barnes, he's uh, he come up from Mullumbimby, lived in Mullumbimby for many okay. years. Come up and uh, started up in here, here in Brisbane uh, with Capella Bar. Right. Uh, he went um, he went over and played with um, Inogra and played in two state um, pennants finals at Inogra. Right. And come back to Belmont. He lives at Capella Bar, so he's a bit closer to home. Okay. So this might be the first one in three attempts. You never know. He needs to get under this bowl. He's probably a little bit shy on the weight. His line was very good. Now Joel says, okay, come on. Trust it to draw. That's what he was getting at. Don't be frightened of overgrassing it. It will come home. It is hit, that wind is hitting them bowls coming back this way, yeah, and punching it's into really, the breeze, isn't really it? Really taking the weight off them yeah. quickly. Yep. You know, our viewers might be saying, "Well, why can't they reach the head?" Well, 
if you don't get the gust, you're two metres through the head. If you yes. get the gust, you can Ex be up to a metre and a half exactly short of the head. Exactly right. It's yep. very tricky trying conditions. Yeah, Jeff Epple was talking about Graham Cook, the only player to have won the Queensland singles, pairs and fours in the same year. He was a very good bowler. Yeah. Now, look at that bowl. I mean, yeah. probably, yeah. Probably took, it took a lot of weight off. He did, yeah. Yeah. But, you know. I think to err on being a metre and a half over, if you can, and then dropping your weight off. But that's easily said. I'm not out there doing it. Yep. <laughs> well, this... Nicely pointed here, yep. but this is going to turn a long way, yeah. Yep. It will. But the weight shouldn't be too bad. That's right. Yes. Then exactly you can right. work back from there. That's the way, yes. As you said, it's easier, easier said than done, but uh, looking to draw a metre over every time. Mm. Not badly pointed here. Yeah, Will it run it out? No, no it won't. Think he's there it goes. Up. Now, Tom Mullen yes. was in the last Belmont side to win a first division premiership in Gateway. In 1989, 31 years ago. Come on, how do you know? What's going on here? You told me. <laughs> <laughs> uh, fair, fair so, so, so there you go. <laughs> the now, last time they won, won a first division flag was in 1989, Belmont, and he was playing for them. If you look at this head, there's two bowls that have reached the head. Two. Yep. Now, surely with this one. Well, Finno looks like he's down all right Certainly here. does. It's going to drag a long way yet. Yep. But it might yep. drag with the jack. Yeah, no, easy. Bang. There you go. Great ball. Well played. Well, someone was going to nail it. Someone was going yeah. to, exactly right. Whether the jack got in the road or not, it was someone was going to nail yeah. it. But that was an absolutely great lawn ball. What was needed? Trust that hand, it'll draw, believe me. Now, Keith. Keith's been a top bowler for many years. Well pointed here as well. Oh, I tell you what, look at this coming home. What a great reply. Wow. That Brilliant is ball. A that is I thought a Joel was going to dip his hat then for a minute, but I thought, no, he thought, no, no, I'll, I'll wait till later. I wasn't sure he was going to reach the way they'd be pulling up. He's played yes, perfect weight for it. certainly did. Two great bowls there. Now, looking to just skirt this bowl and arrive. Yes, he just... At least he gave it a chance. He did, yeah. And it's going to hold up. Duna says, OK, rightio. And John Fillinson was the uh, skip uh, in the over 60s um, rink of the tournament in the in the last um, last interstate series with Robbie Allen as his lead. Well, player, player of the series. Yeah, Robert was a player of the series, yes. and they were the they were the rink of the series. And John yes. Fillinson skipped the rink. <laughs> Yes, you're seeing Keith's second bowl then. That's what can happen. I mean, he was probably a foot tighter, but the weight just dragged off yeah. it real quick. He got yeah. the head breeze and bang. It's funny that they're the only two good bowls so far exactly. on this end, and they're both crackers. They were, yeah. <laughs> you know... Is Duna going to play? Yes. Yes. Try and just skirt those bowls and arrive onto the shot bowl. I don't Ooh. think it's going to work I, from there, Brett, is it? I don't know whether it will. Yeah, it needs to get a little bit closer to those front bowls. Okay. Well, it has. It has worked. It's just a touch overweight. Yeah, that's all. Making sure he was reaching. Yes. I think that if he uh, if he misses those little front wing bowls there on the right by about a foot, he'd almost come in and sit the shot or trail the jack. G'day, Shiloh. Graham Shillington says it's good to watch some of the old timers. You're right, Shiloh. It is. G'day, you, Shiloh. You being a young fella. Well, he certainly is. <laughs> in his mind. <laughs> <laughs> 
he still plays well. Oh, but <laughs> there's no doubt about that. Yeah. Now, an update, an update for the women's grand final. Bagara, 18. Broadbeach, 18. After 18 Ooh, ends. Oh, 18, 18, 18. Wow. Now, Duna, will it? No, he won't. No. Nah. He's not going to get around those bowls. No. He would have had enough weight to reach the jack, I'll tell you now, but it's picking, picking that line. It's becoming really difficult. G'day, Paul Ferns. Joel. That's Did right, Shillo. That's what I told him. <laughs> One shot there to Kawana. So, not much in it as we thought it might have been. Yes. And the ladies' finals, an absolute cracker going on. You know, if you're over that way, you've got to go along because we can't live stream both. If you want to watch the ladies' final and you're in the area, you've got to get over there and watch it. Developing into an absolute brilliant final. At Capalaba Bowls Club. Certainly. Yes, Joel's done this again. Matt back. Jack on a shortish end. Teaching out, test, testing out their touch bowls. Yes, you're right, Terry. It is great work by Bagara. They need to keep it going because they're playing a red-hot side, but play well enough and they can win. That's it. Okay, Ricky Barnes. Barnesy on his forehand. Good on you, Paul. Enjoy your bowls, mate. Great to hear. Handy spot for Rick. Yes, nothing wrong with that. That's for sure. You know, even if you put two bowls there, it affords you a second to dead draw to the jack rather than make sure he's up all the time. You know, that options, options. Oh, it makes options. it easier. Yes, oh, certainly. certainly. The smallest, shortest length. What about Ooh, that one? I don't think that's coming back. Well, there's, um, depending, or on a roll jack, or on a rebound jack, uh, there's different, uh, yeah, legal. Hmm. Okay, Tommy Mullen. Yeah, not badly down. That'll come home nicely from there. Dune is getting uh, excited about it. A little touch on that. He won't mind that. Yep. There you go. Knocked it in for shot. Yes, he says that'll do me. Interesting little line on this. I, I can't see that holding. No. Actually, the weight was the very weight was good. was good, wasn't it? Oh, yes. Tommy Mullen looked to draw another one. Yes. Weight was... He was over trying to just uh, sit on the bowl, and he's played this extremely nicely. 
Nice yeah, little area good there. Thing, yeah, good spot there. Exactly. There for Tom. Yeah, Joel's just saying, look, out to our bowls, if you touch Jack's all right, and if you cut across and sit the shot, it's very handy. Yeah, pretty good territory. Yeah, it looks it. It's going to start to turn awfully quick now. Needed to catch the edge of that yeah. bowl. Yeah. It's coming to a good home. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, very good line. Yeah. John. John, I tell you what, is he going to arrive just behind? Okay. Yeah, another good spot That's there. It's a handy little spot because uh, any jack movement, they've got a few behind there. They're holding shot, so... Plenty of grass on this one. You watch this come home. Just the weight. His line was good again. Yeah, go. good line again. Yeah. Has he taken just that fraction of weight off this time? Well, he's got a little edge there, so... Yeah, Duna yeah. says fall over, and it did. <laughs> yeah, Brendan Egan, uh, he's a very accomplished bowler, Brett, hasn't he? Oh, he's, he certainly is. He's played for Victoria, represented Victoria and Queensland. And Queensland, yes. He's won an Australian under-25s. He's won a New South Wales state pennant with Tarrant Point. He's ah, He's been runner-up three times, twice with Inogra and once with Winner Manly. Ha. Ah. And a host of other oh, of course. singles tournaments. Oh, he's been a top player. very, bowler very the, accomplished oh, bowler. Certainly is, and a nice fella too. Oh, you love me. fella. Doesn't mind a drink on any day Loves ending in Y. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and it's not water. <laughs> <laughs> no, he's a good fella. Certainly is. Eleven all on the big board. Yes, Kawana and Belmont. Oh, I tell you, I'm not too sure on the weight. Neither is Brendan. Yeah, yeah, he knew straight out of his head. Yep. Really, I think most bowlers do. You know, you can hope, but oh, definitely. <laughs> More purposeful this time. Looking for the bowl. Not we'll take from the, the jack. jack. How many seconds? One, yes, I think it's one. worth four. Is it? Uh, I I think I think that bowl might be. Um, oh, that could be Rick's. That's Rick's bowl there. Yeah, right. You're correct. Yeah, I. I just need to, yeah, Duna's just going to get him to settle down a bit here. Yeah. He'll address the matter again. I think he'll be looking for the bowl. Okay. Oh, he's just oh. under the line. I'm nearly sure the third told him that that bowl was worth four. I think you're right. Mm. I think you're right. They, they were uh, uh, Ricky Barnes bowls. They hung out a little bit, if yes. you remember rightly. Yes. And, yeah. So one shot there. Kawana. Um, on the top. Yeah. Look at the scores. Four all. Four three. Four all. <laughs> Very tight as you I, expect for a, yes, a state exactly pennants right. final. Who will be the first one to break? Exactly. 
time. Well, we've seen it in the third round with Algesta and Belmont. It was a ding-dong battle, and uh, the lead changed time and time again, and all of a sudden, Belmont got a couple of results. They got a five, apparently, a good five. They got a five. And got the jump on them. Yep, yeah. and and that's what broke Algesta's back, dropping that five. Yeah. And I, they uh, at the same time, they dropped another um, a two on another rink. And, um, yeah, that yeah. was the ball game. Yeah. Yes, well, yeah. once again, into the breeze. Now, Rick. Interesting to see, but Rick looks like he's got weight on this. Yes, he does. And good weight, too. Oh, yeah. yeah. Great start by Ricky Barnes. On the bottom there, uh, on the bottom of your screen, Bagara and Broadbeach, 18 all on 18 ends, was his last report from Bowles, Queensland. It's okay, yeah, something Rick. behind. Rick Barnes looking to repeat his last bowl. Yes, he'd love to get something about a, a right on line about a, a foot behind. <laughs> one Two very on. good bowl. Exactly right. One on one behind. Duna's happy with that. You take a lot of that. Brilliant lead bowling. Yes. Funny-looking bowls coming down, Brett, aren't they? The colours. It's they're hypnotising yeah. almost. Yeah. <laughs> okay, tank looking to draw, touch the jack, make three. Yes. Now he's out there a fraction. Very good weight on this yeah, too. His it's just a good. gust of breeze. Weight's you can see good. the the awnings behind them. It's Flopping up and down and trees blowing around. Hey, Sharon Smith, D. Nichols and Ashley Powell, all Bagara supporters. Oh, they're going well. Okay. So Mark Williams has pulled up probably around 18 inches short. Good attempt. Certainly was. So Tank would be looking just to slip underneath. Touch the kitty, draw another shot. He's not in a bad line He's here. He's got Brett. a better line on this. Very good bowl. Yes, we well, haven't fattened it up Mullen. too much, but... Uh, reach it. Trail the jack. G'day, John. Welcome to the broadcast. Okay. Keep now, when this takes off, it'll take off real quick. So yeah. let's see what happens. Yeah, there it goes. Yeah, there. The weight wasn't too bad, actually, to get the result. The but weight was very good to push those bowls through and stay and drag it. the kitty. Yeah. Even if you get the little split there and then run through. Windless and beats them to it. Which he's not going to. Yeah, he'd love to just arrive and just move the bowl back and just change the head a little bit. Or touch that kitty. Exactly touch right. Touch the kitty, make four shots. Yes. In a very good Trail position. Trail at a foot and a half or something. And now, this time. Has he got enough weight? Oh, look at that holding there. It's, you can't do much about that. I mean, it looked like it was going to turn nicely, and then, so although he did need a little bit more weight. We've got a couple of rink scores for Bowles Queensland from the, from the ladies' final. Um, Millerick, eight versus Cook, six, and Perth House, seven versus Keegan, four. That's all we have at the moment. 
This is not looking too bad here, Brett. Oh, it's a oh, nice bar. Great attempt. Yes. Great attempt. Wow. And that, and that now that stops um, that stops Duna from uh, just tickling that kitty for four shots. It does. Putting it in a better it's, position. It's a great very good positional bowl, bowl for yeah. them. Not only third shot, but as you alluded to, it's um, you can't just tickle that by a foot or so and get a big result. He's got that. Oh. Both the jacks moved out. Belmont holding one was the call. Keith said, I think we're one down. Mm. Well, that's deceptive. Isn't it deceptive? Because if I was looking at that, I would say definitely yeah. the other way. It is. And just Unless looking it, over... Well, that's just it. I. Yeah. Unless Maybe um, Keith was talking to Brendan. You're one down, mate. Yeah. <laughs> oh, good bowl oh, by Duna. Very yes. good bowl by well Duna, played. Brendan. Egan's drawn the shot. Yes, certainly has. Now, Keith's saying two down. Okay. There's a nice little track under this bowl here. And that's, uh, I think that's John Finlayson's bowl, the other one. Yes, he needs to, he needs to run hard. Oh, it was a very, very good try. Tell you what, they're having a real good look at it. Yes, the call is if he can just touch the jack. Oh, yes, the update in the grand final of the women's. After 24 ends, Broadbeach 26, Bagara 19. Duna's well down again here. He needs to touch the jack. Oh. Boy, he did everything oh, but touch the jack. What a well, fantastic up. effort. Two top bowls there. Oh, boy, oh, boy, this breeze. Blow a dog off a chain, as I'd say. <laughs> Which one? Okay, rink, uh, some rink scores for the women. Uh, Millerick 9, Cook 7. Keegan 8, Pursehouse 7. And Inch 9, Kington 5. Overall... Broadbeach 26, Bagara 19, after 24 ends. Okay. Okay, well. Uh, Rick leading off here for, for Belmont. A bit of breeze behind coming towards the road. Yes. And he wants a couple of foot on that. Yeah. I notice there's lots of people in the clubhouse at the windows looking out and there's yeah, lots there of people is. around the green looking at this final. A little bit more, bit more comfortable inside at the moment, Brett. With the wind it With is, With the yes. wind. A lot of them sitting against the clubhouse there, which is, looks okay. Not a bad bowl here. Good starter. Very good start yeah, by uh, Russell, Russell mm. and Ben Honrick. <laughs> now Rick hadn't got bad weight here. He's kicked the goal straight yeah. between the jack and bowl. 
Is it off? No, it's on. Turn it off. This guy here is making some really bad comments about the team and players. So, Tom. Not a bad effort there, only a couple of foot short. Very hard to find a consistent line when the wind is gusting in circles. And oh, yeah, definitely, yes. Yeah. A little bit hard to tell with... Uh, Here it comes, look at this, this turn. He's come back a long oh, way. Oh, certainly has. What a good oh, ball. look. That's turned a mile, that ball. An absolute mile. Compared to the yellow one coming down. Yes. And that's how it can change when two balls. Once again, he's put it on the right line. Put it on the right line and played the right weight. Exactly. Now, trying to follow his line here. I tell you what, it gets around okay. this yellow. Tank just needs to run a bit further. Yeah. Ah, good attempt. Yeah, it's a good wise. attempt. He's corrected well. Nice little ball back there. That won't hurt. Well, that's where he was with his first bowl. And not a bad second bowl either. Come that's back, okay. Geez, come right back, back to the line again. even crossed the line. Yeah. It's taking some grass. Okay. John Finlayson looking to play underneath yes, Tank's wise, bowl to the to the shot bowl of the kitty. You've almost got a flirt with of hitting the yellow bowl, haven't you? Well, you, it's their you, bowl, so they can afford to be that's up exactly to it. That's exactly right. Yes, uh, if you do collect it, and it's out the road for the skip, so or out the road for his second bowl. Yes. So if that's the worst that's going to happen. It's all right. Yes, that's yeah. exactly right. So he needs to play a bit of weight underneath there. Uh, yeah, so he probably wouldn't have been happy with that shot. Look at that. Beautifully played. Oh, it's going all the way to the line and a good. touch out. That is a fantastic ball. Brilliantly played. Well, he's definitely on yeah. a better line. Well, even if he gets this out the right, as you alluded to, and he's just... Oh. Well, he's actually got the jack and moved it square of the head. Boy. Better. Yeah, it is. It's, it's better for Belmont. That was hidden away, so exactly. he's played it well. Yeah, the target's a little bit fatter yep. now. But, uh, yeah. Just managed to get a piece of that. Yes, Daryl, there's some absolutely magnificent bowls under these conditions. These are two really good sides playing each other in the final. Welcome, Kelly Charters from Kilcoy. Hope you're enjoying the coverage. Joel says, I don't mind this. I tell you what, how far are we going to turn here? Here it comes. Still Look coming. At these bowls, I tell you what, that's two really good bowls. Oh, two fantastic bowls. Very consistent. Well, Duna, I feel a bit of a shot coming up here. Even if he punches a short bowl just off the line, the blue, he can get a result whether it's jack or bowls. Well, he'd be looking. He'd be looking to his forehand, Brett, wouldn't he? Yeah. Um, he's got he's got Rick Barnes' bowl coming in. Coming in. Yep. Uh, he can just sneak under there, Kitty. He's got a catcher there with Tommy Mullins' bowl, yeah. or he can sit on the wall. Sit on the wall. Yeah. yeah. Exactly so right. So there's a few options there's there a, if he's in the area. Exactly right. He's gone a bit quicker than I thought he would have. Well, he's got that yep, through the jack the and got a result. Yep. Duna says, okay, well, I'm taking it. You're not getting it back. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. 
And welcome back, Brian. G'day, Lindsay. A bit of good hit there by uh, Brendan Egan. Yes, he was a few down. He was. It's sometimes shots like that win games, Lindsay. Oh, do they ever? It's a uh, <laughs> uh, good kill. He had good weight. Yeah, I was a bit surprised he went that quick, but uh, hey, mate, you you play whatever you weight that you see fit. That's right. I, I I didn't think he'd be playing that weight either. I thought he'd be playing a little bit less weight underneath uh, Rick Barnes's bowl. But yeah. um, look, he got a result. So, and any when you play that sort of weight, you only got to get onto something, and uh, anything can happen. Well, particularly with the green running, as good as it is, it's uh, as we said. You, if it wasn't for the breeze being as gusty as it is, like. The heads would be absolutely packed, wouldn't they, with the quality players we've got out there? Oh. You know, be absolutely packed. Absolutely. Yet the showcase that they're putting on for us here, it's just outstanding. And especially under the conditions, Brian, the, this wind is, uh, is very stiff. they got behind them going towards the road and then coming back to the clubhouse, they're, they're really pushing into it. So uh, it does make it difficult, especially yeah. pushing into the breeze. Yeah, this, this hand here also too, I mean, even on Wednesday, Lindsay, I was just talking to a few people inside and I was saying, watching Jacob Nelson play Barry Lester on a Wednesday, the, the gust of breeze, in my opinion, was worth a metre of run. Yeah. With yeah. the green running as, as beautiful as it was yeah. as, and still is, don't get me wrong, but Wednesday morning, the sun was out, there was... There was the breeze was gusty, but not quite as bad as this, in my opinion, but it's still worth a metre of run. And on Wednesday, you hadn't had the showers overnight. Night, as we had no, last night. No. And this morning also, too. Yep. But it's a great game of bowls, it really is. It's a pleasure to be able to bring it to you, ladies and gentlemen. So, a good start from Ricky Barnes. Yeah, very good start. With the shot. He's going quite well, Rick. Yep. Look, looking to put another one on the kitty. Uh, Craig Hodges says he's whiz playing. No, he's... He's not Craig. He's well down again. Yeah, two good lead balls there, Lindsay. Yeah, yeah, very good. Uh, Desiree, we can't because one's at Capella Bar and the other one's at Cleveland. So so James T said, what does sit on the wall mean? Well, if you... Looked at that last end, uh, they were holding three shots, Kiwana. And we were talking about if Brendan had played underneath with a little bit of weight looking for the kitty, or he could sit on those three bowls, which mm. we refer to as a wall, wall James. That's correct. And one of the reasons, too, Desley, is why we've gone to two, two green clubs this year is mainly because of the COVID-19. We can't have all of the bowlers at one destination all going in for lunch or using the club facilities, as well as having their own members inside the club. So we've gone to two two green clubs, mainly for COVID safety purposes. Very, very important. Well, it is, Lindsay. Mm -hmm. like, I mean, you still... I mean, even though our cases in Queensland have been very well controlled, we've still got to be sensible about things. 100%. That, that, that's correct. you only got to look overseas to see what's been happening and, yeah. and see how we have been in Queensland. And it's only through good management. Yes. And, um, and the public doing the right thing. So, you know, it's very sensible. Tommy that's Mullen here looking to draw the shot. Yes. It was a great bowl there by Russell. Looks, to be, out, looks to be out in pretty good area, Tank. Uh, he's just going to come to a good home, though, mate. Yeah, slip through. Nice little catchment area in there. Yep. Only uh, one down. Yeah, they've got, uh, I'd say they've got two seconds. They, got, well, they have got two seconds. A little touch on that kitty can make three from Belmont. Three shots. If it's still there. Yes, if it's still there, it's the biggest yeah. thing, isn't it? It's got a nice line on this one too, just quietly. It's just going to be a little bit runny though. And they come to a pretty good home. Well, right? they'll come to a very good home because that takes away the trail for three. Yep. And it's really got to just... Uh, yeah, Dernie just asked him to play a metre through. Johnny Finlayson, I saw him down here on uh, Wednesday having a game. Well, he's holding up to this kitty, and he's got it. Oh, the supporters are starting to get rowdy now. Yeah. Yep. Great bowl there by John Finlayson. Belmont holding two. On the big board, Belmont leading Kiwana 25-15, gone to a 10-shot lead overall. 
and it's again it's how easy a game can change, isn't it, Lindsay? Yes, most certainly. Kane Nelson leading Richard Strawbridge 11 to 4. Good bowl here by Keith Wiley. Not going to be too far away. Uh, good That's try. a very good second shot. Second shot. He's been playing. He's been playing well, Brian. He has been, hasn't he? And just an update on the ladies. It's um, Begara 22, Broadbeach 33 after 29 ends. John, having a good look at this, just wanted to know how far away Keith's bowl was. Of course, uh, Brendan Egan, a very experienced skip too, isn't he? Uh, ah, been very. Been around for a while. Very. We are saying before, he, he's, he's played for Victoria and New South Wales. Yes. He's played in three state pennant finals. He hasn't won one. He's been runner-up in three. Three, he's a rider. So um, he'll be hoping that it'll be lucky fourth time. Yes. Yes, a very experienced skip. Remember, uh, Brendan, when he was at, when I was doing the Greens at Winner Manly Leagues, he was... Uh, one of the skips down there. I saw him play some wonderful bowls down there. Well, that, that's right. And I was fortunate enough to play with South Tweed when we beat yes. uh, Winham in the uh, state pennants final back in two, 2014. Yep. And um, actually, I, I played second for Kelvin. We played Duna's Rink <laughs> <laughs> and Tweed yeah. Heads. Yeah, you're dead right there, Jimmy. Eddie King's watching from Port Macquarie. Welcome, Eddie. <laughs> So a big uh, welcome to all our viewers. Hope you're enjoying the telecast. Brought to you by the Gold Coast Tweed District Media Team on behalf of Bowls Queensland. It's uh, great to have uh, initiative of Bowls Queensland getting this great game of ours out to as many people as we possibly can. Rightio. Ooh, he doesn't want to touch his front bowl. He's going to come under it. His weight's not bad. Mm. There's a lot more grass out there, though, on that hand. <laughs> come on, you Larry. Interesting. What would you play there, Lindsay? Um, Joel. What would yep. what would Joel's shot be? Yep. Yeah. Well, I, I think I'd be tending for play, playing his backhand, looking to uh, roll the bowl up, yep. or uh, if you're underneath, you sit the uh, shot bowl through. Well, if you st played with that type of control, which is just over draw weight, you sit and stay for two, wouldn't That's you? That's right. You sit and stay for two. Tell you what, he's had a good line on this, just not the weight. Yeah. And there, once again, that's not making excuses for the bowlers, but that's the difference between playing with the breeze and against the oh, breeze yeah. and into the wind and away oh, from yeah. the wind. Yep. It really does your head in when it comes to weight control, where these players normally play with magnificent weight. They're so experienced. Yeah, Duna's out a long, long way here. Yeah. Um, I, you must be going for a bit of cover. Going for must, a bit of cover down the back. Yeah, they must have the best backward. Yep. Uh, wouldn't change much if I was Joel. It'd just probably be uh, a little more, bit more at it with control, though. Yeah, it's a bit hard with his bowl in the road now to play the shot we were talking yep. about before, you know, to roll it or sit that bowl out. So Seems to be out a bit too wide yeah. for there. Uh, yeah, he is. Either that or he's just a bit too quick, but... Yep. Yeah, bit of both. Bit of both. Well, that must be deceiving then. I thought that was uh, in for, for second shot quite comfortably there, Lindsay. But uh, for John to put the tape on it must be uh, a bit further away than what we anticipate. Mm. 
Rather that or John just wants the exercise. No, it wasn't very mm, far that away. That was reasonably close. It was very close by the looks of that. So, uh, yeah, good call. So Rick Barnes leads off for the uh, Belmont team. As the uh, Brendan Egan combination pick up one. 26-15, Belmont lead Kiwana. 11 shots the difference, but a long, long way to go yet. And that 11 shots oh, yes. it's means easy to pick nothing up. at the moment. <laughs> means absolutely nothing, Lindsay, ever so true. All it needs is just a quick pick up across the board and game's on. And this Kiwana combination, there's a lot of talent through it also. A lot of experience. Oh, yeah. Kurt Brown sure and have. young Joel and there's a lot of experience. Keith Wiley, Richard Strawbridge. Everywhere you look across the park, there's uh, Peter both Leon. teams. Peter Leon, just yeah. winner of the state singles just recently. <laughs> yeah. The yeah. punts. Reckon he's offered, he's open for office. <laughs> <laughs> Anyone wants to play with him, they said just make him an offer and he'll try and sort it out for them. <laughs> I'm sure he will. He's a character. <laughs> you got to agree. An absolute character. So, Rick looking to correct on his last bowl. His weight wasn't bad. He just needs to get out there a little bit further, which I'm sure he will be. Not out in bad territory here, Brian. He's got a very good territory, mate. Has he kept the weight up? He looks no, I think the look. I think the weight's pretty good. Looks very good. Yeah, great shot. Great shot, Ricky Barnes. That's a lovely correction. Sitting just in front of the kitty. Bowl just fell over. Suppose it's the kitty. And psychologically, that does mean a lot to the opposition, doesn't it? When they can actually see the kitty compared to when it's covered up. Oh, a mile of difference. <laughs> it makes, it makes oh, a big difference. An absolute mile of difference. I mean, quite realistically, it shouldn't, but psychologically, it does. Yeah. Oh, 100%, Brian. It's just something that gets in a bowler's head when they can't see the kitty. It just uh, creates a bit of doubt. We see a nice bowl here by Tom. Bowl starting to work in nicely now. It's still got that run. Oh, this is a good shot by Tank. Tommy Mullen, great shot. Great bowl there. Drawing the shot for Belmont. Yep. Crowd getting very excited out there, Brian. <laughs> Belmont supporters. Ah, it's good to see, you, mate. But the thing about it, though, the thing that's so pleasing, though, Lindsay, is that they're clapping good bowls. Oh, yeah. Ah, oh, what's going to happen here? Nothing. Yeah, great try. Great try. Got one of them out. Yes, they need another bowl in the head now, Belmont. Yes, they do. Yes, because um, Kiwana would have the next three. Has Tom got the weight in this? I don't think so. Yeah, I think he's taken something off here. Okay, out and yeah, he doesn't like it. Yeah, no, no one disagrees with that, Mario. We just. Uh, Having a bit of a chuckle before, mate, on how he's made himself available to uh, play bowls with anyone that makes him an offer. True character of our great game, my friend. You know that, Mario. See, John's got a nice line on this. Yeah, he's got a very good bowl. line. He might just slip past, I think, Brian. Yeah, just a bit. Just got a little bit on it. A little bit of run. Uh, there, once again, just playing back into the breeze, we see the... Score of the ladies final up on the bottom of the screen and the scores of all the rinks on the left-hand side and, of course, the overall up top. So Keith Whaley, who's a very experienced campaigner. Got good weight on that. 
Jack High. Mm, this is an interesting line. It is, isn't it? it? It looks tight, but it mightn't be. Play this very well. He sure has. They played that brilliantly. Mm. Two shots to Belmont. Yeah. Holding two. Two very good bowls there. They were. Plus also at this, this stage, Belmont has the best backward also too. Uh, he's getting getting him to play big weight, I think. Yes. The three of them will go, and they've got um, they've got four shot. Yes. Maybe maybe fourth and fifth. Oh. Pull that. Oh. They they had they did have. Oh, what's happened there? No, they've still got two shots. They've to still the, got uh, two. Brendan Egan led side, Belmont. Okay, Duna walking to the mat. Brendan Egan looking to draw another one for Belmont, holding two at the moment. Well, after that last bowl, um, Kiwana now has best backward. Looking from here. Bit tentative, Brian. He doesn't want to get in there, move the kitty. He's really taken the drive away from Joel too, by right. Per by looks of that, that's perhaps he was doing that. I think perhaps he's really he was a blocker. I think now Joel have to play a bit of a swinger in there. Yeah. To get the result, and with this breeze, that's very, very awkward, Lindsay, isn't it? Certainly is, oh. and, and he he drives well, doesn't he? Joel? Oh, drives very well if he mm. goes straight at it. So that could, quite possibly was a purpose bowl. He hasn't. He doesn't pull up short like that too often. No, do you know? No. <laughs> he skirts in. Uh, yeah. Now, yeah, will he do it again? This would be interesting. Well, I, just looking the way Duna plays, I thought that was. I honestly thought that was deliberate. Mm. Uh, I'm, I'm not a big fan of blockers. Don't get me wrong, mate. I'm really no, not a big fan of them, mate. But uh, nor am I. They're they're too. Precise. Yeah. Yeah. Gone behind. Yep. Good thinking. Yep. Very good thinking. Got something here. Definitely got something. Well, he got oh, one, one out. One out the head. He got one out the head. So, so, one more to Brendan Egan, lead combination for Belmont. Jacob Nelson leads Kurt Brown, 12-7. Kane leads Richard Strawbridge, 11-6. See uh, so Punts over there on rink 10 with the Kane being welded around. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like a marching girl out there, mate. He's willing to going around so much. Uh. <laughs> yeah, twirling the cane around. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like a marching girl, mate. I'm yeah, yeah. <laughs> so Ricky Barnes on the mat now. He has led. Uh, he's led very well, hasn't he? He has. Yes, he normally does. Ricky's normally thereabouts. Yeah, 
Ah, oh, great start by Rick Barnes. Yeah, great yes, ball he's um, he's starting to turn it on now, Barnes. He's he's really got a uh, found his mojo. Really has, hasn't he? He's um, built himself into the game, and what a lot of players do is as they build into the game, they start getting a bit more confidence and. Uh, Of course, Bree's behind him going that way. It's a little easier than come back punching into it. Into it, yes. Gary Place is watching from Bending, uh, <laughs> Bendigo in Victoria. Welcome, Gary. Hope you're enjoying the coverage. Uh, Rick with his second bowl. He just hasn't changed anything. He played the first one beautifully. Just like to sit in behind the Tell head. Tell you what. He's not going to be far away. He's damn pretty good, maybe run through a little bit but very good posse is making sure that he was not going to be short with his yeah. second bowl. There's the score of the ladies final. It's Bagara 23 Broad Beach 37 after 32 ends. Bagara are keeping Broad Beach honest Brian. They certainly are. Uh, mate, the Bagara girls impressed me over there yesterday too. Yes. You see a lovely correction here by Russell. Uh, that's a very good home there. Russell Van Homerick. Now, we may have a bit of a guest commentator coming in here for a little while, Lindsay, with you. Okay. We'll let you have a bit of a chin to this young chap. Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Brett Wilkie. Uh, good shot by Tommy Mullen again. Pulled up about a Great foot ball short. By Tommy. Quite possibly counts. And welcome to Brett Wilkie. How are you, Brett? Good, thanks, Lindsay. How are you? Not too bad, mate. Great game here. Yeah. yeah As you'd expect of a state pennants final. Yeah, Belmont just starting to break away. Good weight here again by Tommy Mullen. Just cut the head a little bit. Good jack high weight. They just seem to be handling the win a bit better at this stage across the three rinks. I've been watching a couple of the other rinks and they're just handling the breeze a little bit better at Belmont at the moment. It's not too bad going towards the road, is it, Brett, with the wind behind them, but coming back and punching in towards the clubhouse, uh, it seems a lot more difficult. Yeah. Well, you would have won quite a few of these with uh, Helen's Vale, I imagine. Yeah, had a, had a little bit of success over the years with Helen's Vale. In the early days of South Tweed, I imagine you would have won. Uh, I only played one year of South Tweed yep. in Penance. Uh, uh, sorry, in Premier League. We Premier won the League. Premier League in 2002 at South Tweed. And then I played one season of Premier League there and then got the job at Helensvale okay. working as the bowls development manager in July 2002 so started working there for the just before the pennant season started yeah good attempt by John Finlayson just looking to give it a chance down on the backhand try and sneak under their own and sit the bowl for two It appears that Belmont are holding. Keith Wally, I think he still resides in Bundaberg, but drives down to play for Kiwana. Oh, I didn't know that. Uh, that's a good effort. I think so, yeah, as far as I know. Ex-Queensland representative. Keith Wally? Yes. Okay. Yeah. A couple of opportunities here, if he's got the right line. Yeah, good attempt, good attempt. Very good weight. Good weight, perfect weight. He might, might be a little bit more direct this time, Brett. 
Yeah, he's got a couple of options there, even if he's... ...right direction, heading towards the shot bowl. There's only need to be turned over. Oh, Joel's watching it. <laughs> yeah. Kane Nelson just starting to pull up a good gap over now. Richard and Strawbridge. Yes. Nine shots in front now. A reasonable lead at this uh, at this stage. Belmont leading 35 to 17, so a handy 18 shot lead, but a long, long way to go. Yet. To get back into the game. They'll need to start moving soon, though. They will. As you said, Belmont seem to be handling the conditions a little bit better. Yeah, just across the three rinks seem to be a little bit more consistent. Noticed a few near misses by Kiwana on the next couple of rinks. Kurt Brown, not far away, but just not getting the results. Yes, and that can be the difference, can't it? over the day to a win and a loss. We just see Joel Anderson going to the mat now. I imagine Joel would be playing a similar type of shot that he called his third for, Brett. Yeah, I'd say so. On his forehand, being a left-hander. He seems to have good weight here for what he wants. He's just just to starting to duck. Well. well, he's got that one out of the way, but it was probably wasn't in his road if he had the good line. The shot was around that, but... He's played a fairly aggressive weight then, didn't he? Just looking at options now, I think whether to cover. He goes a bit more direct. He could get the jack right back to the ditch. He's deciding whether to cover or, or just try and change it up. He's got... His own bowl on the way in on the forehand if he wants to try and promote that or just pass. Well, they're holding shot at the Tyler moment. Jack. Yeah, I think you're right. I think he's going back. He's off for the backhand. Yeah, he's in this back corner. Uh, Dean Shaw says, apart from Kurt, have anyone else out there today won a Queensland State pennant? Oh, uh, well, I couldn't really tell you that. I'm not too sure there would be, Brett. Yeah, I'm not sure. Brent, Brendan Egan's played for... I'm not sure whether he may have got one with Winner Manly Leagues Club many no, years ago. No. No? No, he, um, he's been in three, two with uh, Inogra and one with Winham. Um, and he hasn't won one yet. OK. Looks a little bit more direct here, Joel Anderson. A little bit more weight. Close to the shot oh. bowl. Oh, nearly clipped it out. If that question was asked in a few years to come, I would say with the Nelson boys and Joel Anderson and a few of the younger blokes out there, there would definitely uh, there'd definitely be a few state pennants amongst them in years to come. Kurt. Kurt Brown won it last year with Tweed Heads. Oh, that's right. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, so he... I'm not sure whether that was his first or whether he, he's won it before. He has played at Pine Rivers before, whether he won one with them many years ago. Not sure, but yeah, definitely he's a defending champion out there at the moment. Yeah. With a, different, with a new shirt on. That's right. Tweed Heads... Big year last year. Yeah, they won the, didn't they? the Premier League and the State Pennant Championship. It's a very good year for Tweed Eds. 
Kurt skipped a rink for them throughout that period, so they'll they'll miss him now. He's moved on to Kiwana. Uh, who was that? Sorry, Kurt. They'll oh, um, Kurt, yeah, yeah. Oh, he skipped a rink at oh, Tweed certainly miss throughout him. their success. So yeah, they'll definitely miss him. He's been down there doing a, f a flying course for his pilots course down at Coolangatta, so he's just about completed that now. So, so have obviously his pilot's license soon. A smart man as well as a good bowler, Brett. Yeah, yeah, he's done very well in that regard. So COVID's probably not helped him try to get a, a pilot's job at the moment. But yeah. he'll uh, he's working at Kiwana as the bowls coordinator, so that'll keep him busy for a while, I'm sure, until he may be able to get a pilot's job somewhere. Possibly be the end of bowls for him. Could be. Could be if he gets a job in that industry. But you have to chase your dream. Yeah, it's what he's very passionate about, so... Uh, this wind is getting very gusty now. Yeah, just pushing up into the breeze. So one of those things, isn't it? You've got to make sure you're up to push through it, and then if you don't get it, could quite easily go through. Well, that's it. It depends if you cop the gust or not, mm. doesn't it? You know, you, you don't get the gust, you're through. If you do get it, will you short? Handy bowl there from Russell Van Homerick. For Kawana. Yeah, Tommy Mullen on the mat playing his forehand. Looking to beat Russell Von Hamrick's bowl. And I think Tank is a bit yeah, short. And a bit local narrow. knowledge for the Nelson family here, though, because they were members here at Cleveland before they went to Belmont. Yes. I think they play here quite regularly. Yes, they only live up the road. Yeah, so I think they play, play in their regular social bowls when they can. And roll up here, all their rolling ups done here. So, uh, yeah, Jacob, yeah. Jacob uh, played here in the Champion of Champions singles where he beat Barry Lester during the week. That was in the morning, and then he went and played in social bowls in the afternoon. So, the, yeah, the family come here regularly. Home, home knowledge. Now they love the bowls, the boys. You see Jacob playing a good shot on the next rink. Kurt Brown's had a drive and killed it on the next rink. So, Tank's finished behind in a very good spot. Tommy Mullen. And Mark Williams looking for about a metre of weight. Still a bit of room to try and get a second shot. He's out a very long way, Brett. Yeah, he's stranded out there. So, John will be looking to play underneath that bowl. Any touch of this end's looking pretty good. Belmont, they've got a few bowls waiting, if you can get to the jack. Mm, it might have been rolled in. Yeah. Oh, it's hard to say. Looks like two now. To yeah. Kiwana. Two to Kiwana. Bit of an awkward one for Kiwana now. They can't really get to those back bowls to cover, so they're just going to try and keep drawing shots. Hope the hope the jack doesn't move. Well, a toucher would be a great bowl now, wouldn't it? Great line. Okay. Yeah, John looking to be a little bit tighter this time. Which he certainly is. Yeah, he's got, got a bit of weight on it. It's close to the jack. And he's oh, got perfect. it right in, this, right in the middle. Yeah, he's made four. Probably a little bit quicker than what he would have liked. Left a bit of room for Kiwana, but they've got a bit of traffic to get through. They're going to sneak around those short bowls. I think he's got to stay fairly close to that short bowl to, to get back to the jack. Yeah. It is swinging out there, but... Mm. I'm not sure. It might be good enough for the shot. I think it is. Still plenty of room, though. Not an easy one, though, with all the traffic. No. 
No, as you said, you're just skirting that front bowl. You're getting out a bit too wide. It's going to hang. We, we, we just see the women's grand final. Broadbeach starting to extend their lead. 43 to 28 after 38 ends. We've got Bolivia Millerick leading 17-10 over Cook. Uh, Keegan 14, Purse House 9. And Inch 12 against Kington 9. So yeah, Broad Beach extending their lead, looking to go back to back in the women's event after winning last year. Starting to flex their muscle, Brett. Yeah, very good team. Great shot there from Brendan Egan. Uh, very good shot by pack. Brendan Egan. Won't be easy to, like, it's not an easy one to beat, even though it looks like there's a bit of room. It's not an easy shot here for Joel Anderson. He said he needs to be a little bit closer than what he was to that short bowl, Brett, doesn't yeah, he? So he can just swing around. He's just just brushed past. Oh, now comes down to his weight. Has he got the yeah, run? He's played this very, very well. Yeah, that very is good a shot. fantastic bowl. That's a great shot. Be interesting whether whether he goes for the shot or in their position having a handy lead at the moment, whether he just tries and gets a good second shot and happy to go one down maybe. What you might you only just be able to see a bit of it there, Brett. What would you play, Lindsay? Oh look, the position they're in, you wouldn't be doing anything silly, would you? Yeah, I'd I would just be trying to draw another one, I think. Yeah, twenty shot lead. Wouldn't want to take his own out and all of a sudden drop a three. No, that's right. That'd be pretty hard to get to his own yeah. through there. He's having a look through there. Had a fair bit of traffic to get through. Ah, oh, a lot of traffic, <laughs> yeah. My word. Okay. Come on, a holding one. Joel Anderson with another one to come and looking to play the same sort of bowl for two. Yeah, well, they need it at the moment to try and stay in touch. Belmont slowly getting away. Yes, Kiwana need to get a wriggle on. 20 shots behind. They don't want to let it get too much further. Oh, he was, wasn't too far out, but. Oh, a good shot. Wonder Kiwana. See the sun coming, poking through the clouds now. It's been overcast for most of the day, but sun trying to break through. Few drops of rain, Brett, but not too bad overall. Yeah, the green's running, running beautiful at the moment. A lot of good comments from across the all the different teams that have yeah. been here, especially the ones from up north, saying how how great the greens were to play on here at I, Cleveland. I, I think Cleveland probably has the uh, best greens in Gateway at the moment. They're all pretty good, but um, Cleveland. They, it's a uh, credit to Peter Browning. He's got them running yeah, they're magnificently. Was, they're as good as you'll see around at the moment, I would say. Oh, definitely. Yeah. Oh, I agree wholeheartedly. Okay. Russell Ben Homerick. Yeah, well, this is the time for Kiwana to start mounting their comeback. Very, very handy start yeah, here. Good start. Perfect position there. John Walker says, are you all prepared for Pyalba, Brett? Yeah, looking forward to going up to Pyalba later on this month. They have a really good fours tournament up there. A very good quality field. Full credit to John Walker, who's assembled another good field there at Harvey Bay. Beautiful part of the country. It is. Yeah, 
Ricky Barnes has played good weight. He's just a touch wide. Jack high weight. Yeah, Pi Alba have one at the end of the month, and I think Yurangan may have one a week later. So a busy, busy couple of weeks up there. With a few people travelling to the area. Fours, another fours tournament? I think so. Mm. Um, fours or triples? Mm. Not sure about the Yurangan one, but... Another good bowl by Russell. Let's see Richard Strawbridge on the third rink across just killed another end. Kane Nelson's got the upper hand on him at the moment, so he's just trying to stay in the game, but he's killed the end, so looking to replay. Yeah, good starter there from Russell Van Homerick. Good lead bowls, one on one behind. Certainly is. Just made Rick change his hand, Rick Barnes from Cleveland. A might be just Belmont a Services, I should say, like here at Cleveland. <laughs> just running through a bit, handy bowl yeah, there. He gave it a chance. Could be, could be, could be yeah. handy if the jack moves there. He's got a couple of waiting. Uh, John Walker says it's triples at Yarangan, Brett. Triples, thanks, mm. John. So Jacob's doing a very good job keeping Kurt in check, 13-7, because uh, Kurt's the danger man, Brett, isn't he? Yeah, he has. He's got a lot of experience. He's had a few good wins over this weekend. As we mentioned earlier, won this event with Tweed Heads last year. So he's yes. been here before. So Tommy Mullen just under his line. Uh, yeah, I noticed the wind's just dropped right down there yeah. when he let that go, so I think he was waiting for a bit of breeze to help him along. Yeah. There was none there. Mark Williams just trying to in improve on his first ball. He wasn't too far away. Probably no. just needs a couple of feet, turn his own. A roll of the past. Looks to be pretty good weight. He's just, uh, yeah, yeah, good weight again. That's enough for a counter. Tom's got a little bit of improvement from his first. He needs to get in there. They're holding, uh, they're holding four shots at the moment, Kiwana. Tommy's got out. I think yeah, he's, he's a bit of overcorrection, I he's think. He's overcorrected, definitely. Weight looks pretty good. Uh, Joel Anderson just asking, trying to promote their own or just finish past. Keith Wally on the mat. He's in a pretty good area. We well, don't want to touch yeah. the kitty, you know. Just gave it that little bit of a chance to promote it. Still looks like four shots, though. Yeah, still four shots. Um, Doing a calling um, John Finlayson just to, to play up to the head. Well, he's got a few bowls to sit on, hasn't he? Or the jack. The jack's the best option. Jack's the best option, definitely. He, he played it before and picked up the kitty, so... Yeah, great shot. Down yeah, to one. Good second shot. He didn't... I don't think he had the weight that Brendan asked him to play, but no. finished up. Good shot in the head. Yeah, I think he was looking more like trail weight. Yeah. The next best option. It sort of made it harder for Kawana now to get any numbers out of it. I think they're hoping to try and turn the blue one onto the jack. Not too far away Get from it. a bit of mo jack movement. Don't want to go oh, too far. Too That's hard. Tommy Mullins' bowl over there. Uh, Dean Shaw says, if Belmont take this home, will Kane at 15 be the youngest winner of this event? Um, I, I imagine he would be. How old would have, uh, Mark Casey have been when... He, he was pretty young at South Tweed when there was a, a lot happening down there, was he? Yeah, I'm not sure. Um... There would have been a few juniors involved over the years, but not sure whether they were that, that young. Definitely had a great year, Kane and Jacob. High up in the rankings. Was number one, but now the new rankings have just come out. He's slipped down a little bit, but still up near the top. 
eighth in the top ten. Oh, still a fantastic effort. He, he, he would he's definitely be the, the youngest here. skip. Oh, he's got it in the guts. <laughs> oh. <laughs> and likes it. Yeah, a little bit fortunate there, I think. I don't <laughs> think he was trying to trail it into the <laughs> ditch, but <laughs> never looked like missing. So. Yeah, a bit of good fortune, but he put it out on a nice line. Yep. Got the result. So I don't think it's what Kiwana would have liked to see at this oh, stage of the game. Oh, no. <laughs> Definitely not. All right. So, yeah, Joel will just be trying to get a good second shot near the ditch, try and keep it to one. Out of new territory. Okay. Still got to run a bit. He's mm. guaranteed second, but still probably eight feet. Yep. Room for Brendan Egan. He's got two goes at trying to get another one. See in the background in the rink next door, a fairly spread out head there next door with Kurt and, and Jacob Nelson. Yeah. People just finding their way in the breeze. Yeah, it's, it's fairly tough punching into it. So, Brendan Egan playing up towards the road, looking to draw a second shot. Yeah, very good and shot. He's a very good shot. Just snuck in the boundary line. Yes, Tony, it was a good shot by Finno. Uh, he played a couple of telling bowls the last two ends, hasn't he, when he, he's got the jack? He has, he has. He's, uh, they're the shots that can hurt, Brett, aren't they? Yeah, that's right. They make a difference. So game, game changes. He's got a bit more weight this time. So he's to hold on. Oh, uh, yes. Good shot. That's a very, very good bowl. Yeah, not easy for Brendan to get another one now. Lot, probably, what, about 18 inches drawn in the ditch? I think he'd be looking to try and push that into the ditch, wouldn't he? Yeah, well maybe. He could sit the bowl for three if he stays. Yep. Brendan's still on his forehand. He looks yeah, like he's, he's got a tighter line here. Like he's a bit of weight, so I think he's looking for the bowl. It's close. Oh, he's close. Oh, good shot. That is a just great enough. bowl. <laughs> Fantastic bowl. Yeah, very good shot. He just got the edge of it, so he couldn't stay for three, but he's definitely made two out of it. Two good shots there from Brendan Egan. It's Jacob Nelson's extended his lead now to 14-7 over Kurt Brown. Yes, Jacob doing his job for yeah. uh, Jacob and his rink doing it. They scored job for another Belmont. one there. Kurt Brown has had a drop. You are dropping any multiples, that's for sure. Yeah, keep it nice and tight. Yep. Notice both Kane and Jacob Nelson both playing with a mat back, short jacks on both rinks. Seems to be working for them at the moment. Great starter there from Rick Barnes. Perfect weight. Good start by Rick. Rick's been going quite well. A lot of bowls outside that. Oh, she will be coming this way. My word. The wind just dying down there. It's pushed it through. Uh, not, 
Not a bad spot to finish in, Brett. There's been a hell of a lot of finishing short, so anything behind's good, isn't it? Yes, yeah, we've seen the jack move a few times over the last few ends, so it's, anything behind's good. And Ricky Barnes looking to draw another one. He's pretty good again. Ah, oh, that's very good lead bowls. Yeah, two great shots. Very, look, very, very good lead bowls by Rick Barnes. Uh, Wendy, the last score we had um, in the women's grand final is Broadbeach 43, 43 Bagara 28 after 38 ends. Uh, you can be down the bottom of your screen. Should be getting another update through any minute now, I would imagine. Okay, Tommy Mullen on the mat. Playing his forehand. Down towards the clubhouse. Just pulling up yeah, short. Look at the wind take that one across. Yeah. See the flag in the background there blowing pretty hard. Yeah, it's gusting. Yeah. It certainly is. Oh, he doesn't like that one, Mark Williams. Oh, he's had a long way. As soon as he let it go, he knew it wasn't, yeah. wasn't where he wanted it to be. Yes, he really pushed it. So Tommy Mullen looked to, looking to correct on his last. Just watching it. He needs to get around this, yeah, and he correction. has for a, for a counter. Good correction. It's absoluter. Yeah, great correction by Tank. Little slide helped him out. So behind on the three rinks, Kiwana. Yeah, they're all just slowly breaking away now, aren't they? Oh, uh, the they are. Boys. They are. Yes, they're definitely handle, handling the conditions better up to this point. Yeah, Brendan Egan just looking to put one just past, not looking to build the head up anymore. They've got three pretty good shots there at the moment. Uh, wasn't where he wanted it, but he's drawn another one. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he's, they're on the attack now, looking to looking for the jack. Best result. Second option of clearing and one or two bowls out. And this is where you can drop numbers, Brett. Yeah, that's right. They're sort of all or nothing now, that sort of shot, isn't it, really? It, it is, it is. And uh, if you drop some numbers, it could be all over, really. Yeah, Brendan just asking Tom, uh, John Finlayson to get right around the back, probably looking for the best back. Kawana have the best two at the back at the moment. Well, he said, Brendan, I don't like that call. I'm going to draw another You're one. You're going to draw another one. <laughs> a little bit more pressure on. Belmont yeah, holds well, five. Well, it might, might ricochet off that if he gets a jack. Oh. It's close to counting. We've just got an update from the, the women's grand final. Broadbeach 47, Bagara 34 after 46 ends. So Millerick 18, Cook 13, Keegan 15, Pursehouse 10, and Inch 14, Kingdon 11. So, so Bagara just sort of hanging in there. They, they, I think they've come back a little bit from what they were earlier. Yes, they're not lying down, Brett. They, they're they're uh, trying very hard. <laughs> Only 13 shots behind, 46 ends, still a fair way to go. Yeah, there is time. Now, Keith played two drives there. Missed both. Puts a lot of pressure on Joel now. Yeah, he didn't even get any bowls out. They said no. he was hoping that if he if he did miss, he was 
He'd at least cleaned some out, but fell for the trap of going narrow twice. Didn't get, didn't move anything. I think. What do you think, Joel? Will stay committed to to running, or is he going to try? Oh, and a shot? look, I don't know with the young fellows they seem to, but I I wouldn't be yourself. Yeah, it's sort of. I suppose it's what you're confident with. If he's not, if, if he's got no confidence in drawing, you may as well look for it. But he's having a bit of a run at it. Can be expensive miss if he misses. Oh, a little bit fortunate. Well. Bit fortunate. Could have been a big difference there if oh. uh, he misses that end. It well, one bowl to come yeah, under a lot of pressure, but got a good result. It was. Yes, Koala, it is a very good game. Not over yet, but Koala definitely need to get a wriggle on. Yeah, Dean Shaw says a similar scoreline uh, to this time last year than a Kurt Brown tweed comes storming home to overrun a Nogra. It might be a little bit different this year, Dean, with the conditions. It's it's very, a very stiff breeze out there. Behind you going one way, punching in it going the other way. It's, uh, it'd be very, very hard to to storm home in this today, I would imagine. Brett, what are yeah, your we'd, thoughts? Yeah, you ne never know, but, yeah, it's not easy to... Not easy conditions to mount a big comeback. But we're only just over the halfway mark, so like yep. we said earlier, there's plenty of time. The, um, the Kiwana guys just need to sort of adjust to, to the conditions to try and get some more bowls in the head. They're just not getting enough bowls in the head at the moment. So. And that's the problem, isn't it? Across the three rinks from what we've seen. They need to win a couple of ends in a row on each rink to, to just bridge that gap. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, right across the three It can happen rinks. quite quickly if you can win. If the three rinks can all win two or three ends in a row each, it uh, soon adds up pretty quick. Oh, very, yep. Yeah, good attempt by Rick Barnes. Yeah, his weight would have been pretty good if you missed that. So, Russell Van Homrick holding yeah, is, the shot. Is he going to sneak past? He's going to sneak behind. behind yeah, handy very ball good there. line. That ran on. I didn't think he had that weight, but he, the, the wind yeah. might have just pushed him a little bit. I see Tom Mullen on the mat now for Belmont. Is he going to come back? Got his own bowl on the way in. He's sneaking around it. Yeah, handy bowl. Good seconds bowl, just past the head. Yeah, good spot there. Okay, interesting line. He well, had a couple of good bowls coming this direction last time. It Mark Williams, he seems played it very, very well. Seems to be handling coming this way a bit better than going the other way. He's yeah. struggling a bit going towards the clubhouse, but playing well in this direction. Pushing them a little bit coming down this way, aren't they? Yeah, well, he's got an opportunity here, Tom Mullen, to reach through. Sit either bowl or trail a jack. Mm. He's having a look. Yeah. He needs to hold up a bit. Oh, he's got onto Rick Barnes's bowl. Yeah, well it's, it's made it a lot, made it a lot worse for Belmont than what it was. There was sort of a good shot on there before, but he's yeah. He's um, that yeah. Uh, that's a good Unfortunate shot. Unfortunate there. there. He, he had a few bowls to promote. If he just 
gave it a little bit of a chance, but overplayed it, and unfortunately, <laughs> it's given Belmont a bit of room now. It appears to be narrow. The wind has dropped. Mm. It's trying to hold. It is, isn't it? Very good weight. Good good cider for his next one. Yeah, yeah, beautiful weight. Well, Keith Wally's got to try and put the pressure on now. Got to nail it. Rinna who killed it. Third for Jacob Nelson of Belmont. Yeah. Jake Wren. <laughs> it could be a bit, a bit underdone. Too. Yeah. Okay, John knows his weight. Just a slight correction on his line. Yeah, perfect weight. Seem to like it out of the hand. Yeah, I think he's pinched that. Skips as they cross over. Plenty of room for the skips, isn't there? Well, Brendan Egan played two pretty good bowls to the, the jack when it was moved out to the side earlier, but that was near the ditch, wasn't it? So he, he got his line pretty good there. Very experienced so bowler, isn't he, Brett? I expect him to draw the shot here. I wouldn't think he'd be too far away. Very laid-back character, isn't he, <laughs> Duna? Yeah. <laughs> Not too much worries him. No, he takes it in his stride. Yeah. What's the weight? And so it's yeah, just, just going through, through. A bit. Good line. Oh, great line, yeah. Oh, well, opportunity here for Joel Anderson to put the pressure on. Draw another one. He's had a pretty good year from all reports. I think Joel and this rink throughout their pennants and also the zone playoffs through to now, they, they've had a pretty good record. A yeah, very talented young bowler. How old would Joel be, Brett? Oh, I'd be in his maybe 23. Yeah, I'm early guessing. 20s. Yeah. Early 20s. He had a little bit of a break from the game for a little while, and he's back playing very well from all reports. I don't think it hurts the young blokes to have a break. I think he's taken it off this time. His line uh, was good again. Well, good, a very good chance here for Joel to correct and make a couple. It would come in very handy yeah, drop for Drop a yard, he'll count. Warner. Looks to be out in a good line. Yeah, needs to make a count here. Needs a clear Just run. Needs, oh, very good ball. Very, very good ball. Just needs to stop. Yeah, good shot. Wow. Chart. Made two. Two. Two yep. shots to Kiwana. Takes him to 7-11 now on the, on the rink on, on our live stream here at Cleveland Bowls Club for our state Division One pennant finals. We have eight zones from across Queensland playoff to get to to the state pennant finals all over in Division 1 in men's and women's all over the state. Come together to play two sections of four. 
And our two section winners are now playing off in the final. The men playing here at Cleveland Bowling Club. And we've got the women's grand final at Capalabar at the moment. Playing at the same time with Broadbeach keeping a handy lead against Bagara. They're defending champions, the Broadbeach women. <coughs> Looking for back-to-back. -back. And a classy side too, aren't they? They're, they're sprinkled with a lot of very, very, very good players. Yeah, a lot of good look, good quality young players and also a good mixture of experienced players that are still playing very good bowls. Good start here from Russell von Homrick. Yeah, they've sort of been scratching coming this way the last couple of times, haven't they, the Kiwana boys? But the, it's a the start they needed. Yes, yeah, certainly. Yes, as you know, Brett, uh, we streamed from live stream from down at Capella Bar yesterday in the ladies, and it was a fantastic day. Some really good bowls played. The greens were running very nice, and it was good conditions. The breeze wasn't too bad, uh, you know, uh, a bit different to today, but it was fantastic down there yesterday. Quality of bowls. Yeah, and the club looks great there at Capella Bar. They've done some renovations through the COVID shutdown and yep. come up very well. It has. Andy Bowler from Rick Barnes had very good weight, just drifted underneath. So you see Russell Van Homerick not too far away again. Yeah, just out of the bowl. count. Might be a nuisance. Yep. So Ricky Barnes looking to correct on his last. The weight wasn't too bad. I think he might still be tight, Brett. Yeah, he needs to hold to the edge. So Richard Strawbridge just picking up a couple of shots over there against Kane Nelson and changed the length. So they were playing Matt back and fairly short, but Kawana have now gone long. So Belmont lead Kiwana 41-24, only 17 shots. So they're uh, starting to bridge the gap ever so slowly, but that's all they need to do with plenty of ends to go. Kurt Brown looks like he's got a good opportunity on the next rink. One down on the head. Looks like he's got a few second shots. Yeah, good time for him to pull out a good one to Kiwana. He's just the man to do it. Tommy Mullen through the head with a bit of weight. Oh, his weight was weight was enough there, but just yeah, Mark bit tight. was looking to draw around those front bowls. His weight was very very good. Uh, Tom's looking for disturb the head here, trail a jack or clean one of the bowls out. Might get it onto the jack. Oh, a very good attempt by Tommy Mullen. Yeah, it's, yeah, they're holding probably two there, I think, Kiwana. Belmont picked up one by the looks on uh, on Jacob Nelson's rink. Well, they've opted to go back to the draw. Brendan Egan just calling for get a bowl close. Yeah, it's a bit of a messy head. Yeah, John Finlayson with his first bowl. Playing third for Brendan Egan of Belmont. Well, it could be handy right there at the back, but if they decide to go for the jack. Need to put the pressure on here, Kiwana. They need to... Got an opportunity with a bit of room. As yeah. you said, they have been struggling coming this way, yeah, but that is... Uh, that's a counter. Made three.
breeze is starting to get a bit of a chill to it now, Brett. That is. Okay, that's a better line for yeah, John. Just trying to get one close. Just needs to stop. He well, may have cut one out. He's got the third shot with that. Yep. Yep, good bowl. Probably just enable Brendan Egan to have a little look under there now. I think he'd be looking to trail that jack out of there or sit one of the bowls. Yeah, so I agree that that, that would be that the last one's pretty at. well protected there. If he's playing the backhand, he won't won't get to that. So, so I imagine Joel will be playing his forehand, just trying to draw another bread around that uh, the short um, blue one. Yeah, both his own bowls on the way in. If he happens to be tight, looks to be out in pretty good territory. Just got to hold. Uh, he got onto his own bowl and just stood it up. Mm, not quite enough. Not quite enough. Need another roll out of his own bowl. But a metre short. Interesting whether he goes for this on his backhand or whether he just tries to draw another one. Yes. Yes, I suppose it depends the way he's going to see it on the mat, isn't it? They've got the mm. best backward Belmont, so... The danger is if he runs on the backhand, if he gets around those front bowls or gets onto the second shot, plays plays through their third shot. If that makes sense. Yep. Could could make three or four down. Yeah, he's looking to play underneath for the bowl of the kitty. He's in a pretty good line. Oh, he sure has. Well, a little, little slice good, of the jack. Only one down. Slice of the jack onto the Kawan. Away. Yep. Played it well. Well, Joel's probably got 18 inches to draw another one. Wasn't too far out with his first. No. No, he's got more weight on it this time. Um, he might have a bit too much. Yeah, he's just overcorrected. Yeah, well, Brendan Egan's got an opportunity now to make a few. He could sit that bowl through for three, or he could little trail for three. So a couple of good options there, no danger. Yep. Needs to just be in the make, area. Just got to make sure he's make sure he's there. He's bowling with confidence, Brendan Egan, so he's he is he'll be up somewhere around the area. Yeah, just pushing up into that breeze. Well, he's given this a chance, nice. Brett. Can I get back? Oh, oh. 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 missed by the barest of margins. Oh. Fantastic effort oh by yeah. Brendan Egan. Gave it every chance. Every chance. We just see an update there for the, the women's grand final. Broadbeach extending their lead now to 54-36. We've got Millerick 18 versus Cook 13. Keegan 15, Pursehouse 10, Inch 14 and Kington 11. So yeah, it's uh, 11 ends to go there in the in the women's match. Bagara need to mount their comeback right now, I think, Lindsay. Right now, Brett. That's exactly right. But, uh, uh, all the teams were going to be up against it, against Broadbeach. I'm not saying Broadbeach were certainties, but they certainly had a um, yeah. very well-performed side. Um, yeah, it can still be done, but as you said, it needs to be... Uh, yeah, pretty tough task. Ah, oh, yes. I think for the, the Bagara ladies, but they've done very well getting to the final. They have. Uh, they played well yesterday. They obviously played well this morning. And they had a good win against Elgester this morning. Yeah. I think Elgester needed to win and, and with a, a bit of margin to get through, but Bagara played very well and got over the line with a fair margin themselves. 
Yes, so as you say, fantastic effort to make the final. OK, Ricky Barnes had a lot of turn there. Uh, both handy bowls. That appears to be tight, doesn't it? Yeah, it's dropping off. Mm. Yeah, wasn't that tight? Jacob Nelson now extended his lead for 10 shots, 17-7 over Kurt Brown. They seem to be going well in this short length next door. Won a, won a number of ends in a row. Richard Strawberry's uh, clawing back against uh, Kane. They're only four shots in that rink now. But Kurt's side definitely need to... Uh, good shot there as we see uh, Ricky Barnes drawing shot about a foot away. Yeah, Kurt's side need to get a wriggle on, don't yeah, they? Yeah, that's uh, the one getting Rick. away at the moment. Yeah. Far away from the shot bowl. Uh, pretty good weight. Knocked it a little bit closer, but gives them a nice shot to play now. Little sit or trial. Or I'm sure he'd be just trying to draw a good second first, and then maybe Keith Wally might be looking to play a little bit more aggressive. I don't think uh, Tommy's coming back from there. Good weight too. Was enough for another if he had had the line. Well, Mark Williams wasn't too far out last time. He'd be looking to get another bowl in the head there. Mm. A little bit of good fortune. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe enough a shot. Well, his weight was good. He wouldn't have got it if he didn't have good weight, would he? He's no. Better line. Yeah, much better line. Weight's pretty good too. Yeah, very, very handy bowl. Yeah, it wasn't too far away. We're looking to try and roll this one a couple of rolls. Just finished past. Keith Wally on the forehand. So Jim C's just mentioned as be the third runner up to Broad Beach in five years for Bagara. Oh, so a uh, very good effort from Bagara. They've, yeah. uh, they've been consistent performers. In the middle of doing a, a new complex up, that, up there at Bagara, so it'd be great to see when that's finished. New, new covered, greens? Yeah, covered greens. Mm. That's the way Capalaba are going to in the future, I believe. Yeah, they're looking at, looking at that. They're pretty good greens now, aren't they? The grass greens that they have. They're yeah, yeah. They're, I was over there this morning. They were running very nice. Yeah. Keith Wally's first bowl just finished behind the the bowl he was trying to roll. I think Joel asked him to try and sit it. Yeah. Just to give him a bit more room to try and get a number, but he's finished nearly locked the bowl in. He has, hasn't he? After finishing just behind it. It'd be extremely hard to get it out. That now. was more the weight he was looking for. He was first bowl, but never know. Jack could end up back there. Yeah, it is a big chance that the that the um, to spring it a little bit, not too far. It's pretty close. Oh. Yeah, it was a good weighted bowl for the shot. Just giving Brendan Egan a look at the jack now. Sure he'll be trying to full draw that, trying to trail a jack around the corner. Brendan Egan, not unless Joel Anderson gets there first. He's got an opportunity now, a little toucher, make two or three. I think they're only holding one, Brett, would uh, you say? Not sure, it'll be, be close for the second, I think. Be close. 
Those two two bowls to the side there. The Kiwana bowls the one at the back. Down one at the front. Just a slight touch it would make three. So it's a pretty good attempt there. The weight wasn't too bad. Could have trailed it around the corner there for three. The thought was right. It was a good attempt. It certainly was. Brendan Egan just looking at this one. I think he's debating whether he just full draws or whether he goes a bit more solid. He's got his front bowl coming through on the nearly on the line, the navy blue bowl there. He could pump that straight through or get the jack. He's looking for it. Yeah. Yeah, they got the bowls behind. Just needs to turn. Not far out. Yeah. And that might change things a bit now, I think. Um, I think Kiwana have one behind that we can't see. Brett, isn't there? Yeah, Keith, Keith Wally's, Wally's bowl, bowl ended up back there. So they got the two best backward. So Joel... Joel will be looking same sort of weight as his last bowl. Tuck that jack around the corner. Could make four. Yeah. Just what they need at the moment. Oh, that would be an enormous help. They pick up a four now. Yeah, well, and then, it, you know, if one of their rinks can pick up a number, it just gives the others a bit of encouragement, doesn't it? It, just it lifts. Yeah, it certainly help, does. Lift help the lift, other your, side. lift your teammates. Doesn't like it. He's walked away. I think he's dropped his weight, hasn't he? Mm, he really needed to reach that. Yes, an op opportunity gone begging there. It'll probably make Brendan Egan's mind up. It's probably in his draw line, so he'll probably play aggressive again. Mm, depending on his weight, he does look a, a little bit a less little weight tight. than his first. Well, it's definitely one. Uh, yeah, only the one. Only the one. Gets him back to within two, Joel Anderson. 9-11. They need to pick up a couple in the other rinks. Hey? Yeah. So we just welcome Brett Clifford back to the commentary. Hey G'day, Brett. Brett. How you going, mate? Good, Brett. <laughs> so your Brett's in charge? Yeah. No worries. <laughs> There's an opportunity there for Kiwana to try and make a number, but they just yes. can only get the one. They, they need to mount a comeback. Or as we just see four shots on the next rank to Kiwana, to Kurt Brown. So we we're just yes. saying, Lindsay and I, that... Kurt they need a, a number somewhere just to give exactly them that bit right. of a spark. And yeah. Kurt Brown's just picked a four up on the next rink. Yes, they've been chipping away. Something like that to, to give them that jump. Yeah, that's right. To about 11 or, or 12 or something along those lines. Well, there you go. You're down saying to 12 that shots the, now. Saying that with a four to Kurt Brown, I think Kane Nelson's holding two on the next rink as well. So he's got one bowl left to play. He could quite easily make it three, which would answer ne nearly answer well, that four yeah. straight back if he can make it in three shots. Nice starter there. Wind's gusting around a bit. It's very hard to get a consistent line. You know, and they're into the breeze one way and with the breeze the other. Just got Greg Dewedger. We we're just talking about Capella Bar there before going to an undercover. They're looking at two greens undercover, tilting yes. towards the upward level. So I know they're looking at the going up on an angle. So from about four metres high at one end of the green up to about eight metres high oh, okay. above a double story clubhouse. So right. it'll be uh, pretty impressive to see yeah. when, they, when they get it all done. For sure. Hopefully they'll put in some um, wires and that for our cameras. Yeah, you never know. <laughs> <laughs> we actually talked to them about that when they mentioned that to us. Yeah, it sounds, some wires sounds and, pretty know. impressive. Yeah. 
because uh, Paradise Point have been talking about uh, putting in some overhead wires in there of their, their indoor there. And well, there's still a bit of room here for Mark Williams oh, and Kiwana. Plenty of room here. Two shots to Belmont at the moment. Lovely line, but just dropped it a little bit short. Into the breeze this way. Got to punch through it. Got a question here. How long ago was the last pennant game before the finals? The, the last pennant round in a district? Well, I'd imagine so. That's what they're saying. Because you've got the zone playoffs to get... Yeah, so they play off and there's 20 districts in Queensland that play off and then they get down to eight zones across yeah. the state. So some, some zones have two, some have three, some have four sides that play off so they get down to the state finals. Right. I think Belmont, uh, in the, they're from the Gateway District, the local district yeah, here. Yeah, they got Vicky Point, didn't they? In yeah. The, they, they beat them. And then the Gold Coast men didn't play off, so no. that they would normally play against the Gold Coast. That's yes. Yeah, so they they didn't have to play a zone playoff. Yeah. Kiwana they played against Anogra from the Brisbane district. Yeah. And also Pine Rivers from the Morton Bay district. So they ah, had a right. they had a tough zone to get through. So we see a good shot there from Tom Mullen. Yes, yeah, beautiful ball there. I can hear his wife on the sidelines just beside <laughs> us. <laughs> so, yeah, they got through a tough zone. Uh, did, it, did it a little bit harder than Belmont to get to the finals. Yeah. But um, I'm, I'm pretty sure the Sunshine Coast and the Gateway finished in September in their finals. Yeah. Well, as you can see now, it's 31 to Kiwana, 46 to Belmont, so... There's plenty of ends left in this game. It only takes one little two shots here, a shot here, two shots there, right across the board, and all of a sudden, yeah. it's under double figures. If the three rinks can win a couple of ends each, That's soon it. adds up pretty quick. We just get an update for the for the women's grand final. Broad Beach 56 to Bagara 39 now after 55 ends, so there's eight ends left. Yeah. And it uh, looks like Broad Beach... Are Pretty well home, Brett, for their second second yeah, win in a row. Yeah, back for the girls. Yeah, it's a, it's a formidable team there. And yeah, plenty uh, of uh, youth and experience. Exactly it's a good right. mix. Yeah, it's just a little bit shy on that one. Another bowl on the head needed here. Add to the count. Duna's played some really good bowls without getting the results. I noticed the last time coming in this direction, he got the jacket locked on a bowl and he missed the shot bowl getting it out for three. By It would have been two millimetres. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Yeah, it was a very good try. So Belmont holding one shot. It needs a partner. Of course, it's gettable on the draw just to sit through. And yeah, those two front bowls just protecting it a little bit. Just that fraction, yeah. I think it's only one at the moment. Yes. Brendan will come down on the other hand there. That front bowl on the line looks like second shot for Kiwana. Yeah. Yeah, Brendan's got a bit of an open draw here. And I think yeah. that's his bowl. Yeah, he's probably got two and a half feet. Certainly has. This will sweep real quick too on this hand. Just needs a clear run. Yeah, he needs a clear run. Oh, well. It could be enough. It could be enough. It fell back, but it's possible. Polly just checking it out. Yes. Yeah, Brett. It does. Yes. Two yeah. down. Yeah. yeah, Keith's saying, yeah, it's two down. 
What's he going to do here, bro? Is he going to draw you, or is he just going to play a perhaps? Yeah, yeah. I, yeah, I think it's a lot easier to just play through it and hope for the best. Exactly. Punch the right ball through. And, and even if you... Well, he's, he's uh, backing he's himself to... Trying to, to draw it. Draw it. Well, okay. Certainly capable of doing not a, it. Not an easy shot. It's not easy. And he's locked that ball there, so... Yeah, he's, well, weight probably would have been close. It would have been. Well, Brendan's got the similar bowl on that hand. He just played one he there. Got a, so. bit, got a little bit fortunate there. He probably made second shot, pumping their own bowl up. Yes. Uh, Brendan's got the double chance on that hand. Cole draw it. If he rolls his own and flops over as well, he could make three. Mm. Kurt Brown just drawing the shot on the rink next door after being a couple down. Yes. He's got the crowd excited. Well, as I said, if he gets onto that, he's yeah. definitely got it. He's good got the weighted two bowl. shots there. Nicely played. Good weight on that as well. Yeah. Two shots to Brendan Egan. Extends his lead to 13-9 now on this live stream ring. Yes. Every end's crucial now for Belmont. That's it. Yep. It's uh, got to keep the board ticking over. You can't try and protect the lead, but you can play good percentage shots. Yeah, that's right. They'll just see on the Kane Nelson's rink. He was three down. His third's drawn the shot. Big bowl. Four-shot oh, turnaround. Yes. His, third. His third being Ben Hamilton. Okay, here we go. Sun just squeezing through the clouds at it's the moment. It's trying hard. It's trying very hard, Wiz, but at least we haven't had any rain. That's right. That's the main thing. So, Rick, Rick's been bowling all right too. Hardly a blemish on the screen here at Belmont. Oh, uh, at uh, Cleveland, sorry. Absolutely beautiful yeah, greens here. Perfect. But they've been noted for a long time. Fantastic green keepers here. Nice little starter there. It's just a little bit narrow. The weight's very good. <laughs> Uh, Russell doesn't look too badly down here at all. This will turn consistently. Here it comes. There we go. Well, that's the shot bowl. There we are. Yes, the girls from Brody were telling me that it was nice to get away from Big Kev and, uh, and Berno. And uh, I said, oh, well, are you going back home? I said, no, <laughs> we are staying up here. <laughs> yeah, they've got a good group. Yeah. Of course, Cass being uh, with the rankings just come out uh, number one. Yeah, very good for Cassandra Millerick. Yes. She had a very good state titles. I was on the receiving end of the of the <laughs> state mixed pairs final. She she played very well up front. Oh, didn't she? And I noticed oh. in in the other events too. She very consistent. Yeah, very consistent and, oh. and played played well. Made a lot of finals. Certainly did. So gained a lot of ranking points to get her to number one in Australia. First time for her. Yes, it is. This is very good. Yeah. Okay. Well, a couple of good shots there. Oh, Tom's going to come down yeah, here. Looks probably, a little bit thin. It's probably about now they've got to mount their challenge. That's it. Well, that oh. was a nice little uh, <laughs> in off the cush shot. Yeah, that was a bit <laughs> bit nasty, wasn't it? Yes, well, I suppose they all count. You're not going to roll it back well, and say, no, I'm not taking yeah, it. <laughs> old saying, you can't be hit up if you're not short. <laughs> <laughs> oh, where's that go down that line, mate? <laughs> That sounds like a Robbie <laughs> saying. Actually, it sounds like a Brian <laughs> saying. That's what it sounds like. <laughs> yeah. Well, he had good weight. Yeah. Good line there from... Certainly, yes. Mark Williams. Bit of wind there. He's hit him. Well, usually after you get a bit of luck like that, 
they come down and they nail it with their next one, don't they? So we'll see okay. with, whether, Early Tom, call, we'll see whether Tom nails it now after having a bit of luck and then just puts the nail in. The one thing he doesn't want to be is narrow and pump one of these bowls up. Oh, he's on the, on the narrow side, is it? Well, he got a bit scared. Yeah. His line was quite good. He just uh, needed a couple of foot at least on that one. Might Get to that back bowl would have been perfect yeah, for it's him. It's probably given him a bit of protection on that forehand. Mm. He's finished right in the road. So he's had a little bit of luck and then finished in the road. So <laughs> giving Joel some nightmares at the well, moment. Joel says, listen, we can just place where <laughs> our own bowls here. Let's get something happening. Yeah, well, he's got a couple of options here. There are. Jeez, that wind is really gusting. Now, will he get a little bit of luck here? Gets the edge, oh, rolls well. through, and it's tip the tap. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, well, it's one all now, this end. <laughs> <laughs> He also got that bowl out of the way too, so it opens the forehand up if they wanted to play that side. Kiwana. Now, Bales, Clinton Bale is, is asking a little question. Has anyone ever come from last in Premier League and won the first division pennant in the same year? Boy, boy. Yeah, well, they did, they did finish last this year, earlier this year, but I'm yeah. not sure. They picked up Jake Wren. I'm not sure who else they might have picked up from their Premier League side. Mm. Um I think it would be probably a similar team, apart from Jake. Did Ben Hamilton play in their Premier League? Not too sure. He's playing third for Kane. Mm. I know Jake rin has been playing some good bowls over the weekend. Yes, certainly. Just needed to lock that fat and just fall back. But anyway, it's another good bowl mm. there. Handy home. Yeah, Duna saying... Look, Let's uh, let's shut this head down. Let's draw the shot. Lay on the back bowl. Yeah, well, he's chasing after. He likes it. Yes, yeah, so the John line's very good. Has he got the weight? He is very, very he needs close. Hold. Is he going to hold? Oh, what a good try. Oh. Actually, is it going to fall against <laughs> the bowl? <laughs> I thought about it. <laughs> it did, didn't it? Yeah. You can actually see it rock back in that. No, yeah. not going to fall. Well... Here's the shot. They're going to play a little bit aggressive now. Look for both those bowls. Yeah, well, it's worth three or four here. It is, yeah. Just needs to get, get them out without getting any of their own or the jack. Yes, get them out clean. Well, getting very interested in this. Oh, oh got two well, of his own. yeah, took his own. Well, there's still a few there at the back there for Joel Anderson. There he are, could, he yes. He can look to also, try and trail that jack down on the forehand, sit yes. the bowl, trail a jack back for four. And even if he did sit the uh, shot bowl, he could make, uh, make a little yeah, number Interesting there as whether well. Brendan Egan tries to change it up on the forehand, the full draw himself, just try and turn the jack eye bowl away or... Yes, roll it, roll it to the just, line and... Just and pass into a good spot mm. or whether he tries to stick on the backhand where they've been playing. Uh, he's going with a forehand. Yes. Yeah, I think it'd be just a nice full draw here to change it up a little bit. Yeah. Or just finish in a good spot if he passes. Looks a good bowl to sit fat for the uh, for Joel, actually. On the wide side. Yes. Breeze has just dropped a little bit. Well, opportunity here for Joel if you well, can trail a jack. Probably two or three feet. Jack. Exactly right. He can make four. If he sits the bowl through and stays, he might make two or three. Mm hmm. A couple of options. Exactly. Both his yeah. bowls coming in if he's tight. Got to put Brendan under a bit of pressure here. Turn this head over to start with. Looks on the tight side. Oh, he's very tight on this. This is. He's given Brendan another chance now to correct on his mm. line. And yeah, he was a bit short. He really needed to, to give it a chance, Brendan Egan, with his first. He dropped short and wide. Yes, he won't He won't finish wide again, I'm suggesting. He, he may have been just a little bit scared of those front bowls who want to stay off him. Well, he's actually he's got out there again. I, He could afford to be out to that yellow bowl to help get an edge, but yes. he's just around it. So, 
Well, here's another chance for Joel. He's got to convert here. Yeah. Now we can go the bowl, get the edge, or he goes to trail. What would you do, Wiz? Oh, I'd play similar sort of wait till his last one, try and yeah. sit or trail. Sit or trail, sit the bowl. Well, he could get both bowls if he gets the edge of that navy blue one. He could get the, uh, the back grey one, but I think this is a better option, trying to mm. sit or trail. Keith Wally just asked him to yes, play well, that. Well, he's close. He's very, very... He's, he needs to get down. He needs to get down and sit it fat. And he sat it fat yeah, and stayed. There you go. Well played. Good way to bowl. Certainly was. I've got to suggest the front one's a counter as well. Anyway, we'll... Uh, Not sure exactly what they got there. Oh, it was a score on that one, Wiz. I didn't see any fingers go up or... I thought it would have been two by the look. Looks like two shots Was to Joel Anderson. Yeah. Takes him 11, to 11, 13. 13. Yeah, that's it. After 18... They're a little bit, little bit ahead this rink than the other two rinks. They are. It's getting through it pretty quick. Beverly Spackman was just uh, replying to me. I, uh, I mentioned earlier on when I first started playing bowls, I used a bowl called a Dunlop. A Dunlop, yeah. That oh, would and they used to come at 15 or 16 seconds back up the green <laughs> towards you. <laughs> yeah, I've seen that before many moons ago. <laughs> We see Jacob Nelson on the rink next door. Yes, there just getting watching his bowl coming in. Just slid by. Uh, Belmont are kicking a few well, out on that are. rink next door. I just noticed that. Yes, two have taken out, and they're measuring for three. So mm, that's going to make a big difference. It will. Yes. When they're 15 in front of the It's going to make it pretty hard if they pick up three or four there to, for Kawana to get back now. Yeah. We haven't received any more updates from the women's game for a while, so I think they may have finished off 56 to 39. Broadbeach yeah. over Bagara. Yeah, we didn't know the amount of ends played there, did we? It yeah, was pretty it was close to the... 55 ends, the last update we got. Yeah, so it was only but eight um, ends to so go. They may, have, they may have finished up and organising their presentations, but yeah, well done to the Broadbeach women again. Yes, back to back. And Begara, been runner-up three oh, times and, uh, re in recent pushed years. Them, pushed them to the limits and yeah. really gave it to them and made them work hard. Two lovely bowls there. Absolutely brilliant bowls there from Russell. Yeah, very good starter. Yeah. They need something special now, Kiwana. They're they do. They need a couple of numbers. They need something across the board. Oh, well played. Yeah. yeah. Second shot there. Yeah, pretty handy spot there. Yeah, plenty of room there to, to add to the count. Up, up there. Yeah, so we see Kiwana, uh, Belmont now out to a 17-shot lead. Yes. Weight was pretty That'll good. That'll be there. the most they've had, I think, throughout the game, would it be? 17 shots. The biggest lead so far. Yeah, it was 17. It might have been 19 really early there. Yeah. It was, yeah. But it's Three rinks all contributing, all in that's front. That's it. Exactly yeah. right. You know, Wiz, they're all uh, holding their hand up and saying, we can do it, boys, come on. Well, the weight was good on this first bowl. Just needs to get it out there a fraction wider. Well... We'll see how far this turns. I don't know whether that'll come back from there, but it might. It's only got to beat these back bowls, but yeah, that's... Yeah, you just overcorrected. Yes, that's all. Oh, 
Well, is he trying to draw here, or is he well, just giving it a little bit of a chance to sit or try? His first one, he gave it a chance, and he's tried to correct on the weight to drop back to a draw, and he's uh, got the line down, Pat, but just hasn't got that weight. Still. Joel's saying, come on, team. Mm, still a bit Let's of take room. take advantage of this. Get another bowl on the head. Let's try and get a three here. Still got at least three, three and a half feet to draw another one. Yeah, there's plenty of room there. Yeah, well down here. Well played. Might make a target. Would love to sit on the line, but it's not going to, and that's a nice little juicy fat target there to just to arrive to and trail that jack through. A metre of weight and sort of arrive onto it. Yeah, nothing for short here. Oh, no. This will turn a lot late. Here it comes now. Just the weight. You know, yeah, good third shot. It is a good third shot, yeah. Gives them the option now to have a look. Yep. Try and sit or trail. Give it a bit of a chance. Might have gone out just a fraction too wide here. A little bit heavy as well, so. Yes, that's the call from Duna. Get that jack a yard. Just got, a, just got an update through from the women's grand final. We have Broad Beach 60, Bagara 45 after 61 ends. Okay, so basically it's... Millerick 22, Cook 17, Keegan... 20, Purse House 14, and Inch 18, Kington 14. So, yeah, well done to the Broad Beach women. Yes, congratulations there. I, I can't see them getting beaten <laughs> from there. I mean, I, I don't want to give them the kiss of death. But <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well... Joel would like to sort of sit the second shot and just roll it to the line and change this head. It looks so yeah. gettable. Yeah, it'd be, it'd be looking pretty pretty juicy from the matter, oh, I would, would imagine. You know, you could... And Duna's got three bowls about a metre behind that uh, what he was calling on. He'd love to roll this to the centre line. I'd just move it and make a gap. Oh, good shot. Oh, very good shot. Yeah, it's made well, it that little bit a little bit harder. It has. Three shots there. Let's change the angles a little bit. And the wind's coming up and gusting yeah. around. It's been up and down, hasn't it? It hasn't been really consistent throughout yes, the day. It sort of been blows up and then stops. And gusty. Different times. Well, three down, Brendan Egan. Yes. What's he going to play? Is he going to try and full draw or get right into it? Well, I think it's backing what you're confident with at this sort of stage. That's the, just the, it. the weight that you're yeah. confident to get a line in the wind. He's going big. He's actually got that out. Well, he's well, he still could be three. Two and a measure. Yes, and it's uh, quite possibly. Would you stay on that hand whiz and try and trail it behind the bowls, or would you change over and try and beat the bowls on this side? Oh, I think he's just played a good bowler. Yeah. I'd be trying to play the same play the shot. Play the same bowl again. Yeah. yeah. Touch the jack. Don't fatten the target. If you trailed it a foot, it'd be great. Keep it on line. The other option was to try and sit that back. Belmont yeah. grey bowl through a couple of rolls, That's and it would have made, made five or six. Yes. No, five, sorry. He's just a bit shy in that. Yeah, he needed that in there. Yeah, well. It was an op opportunity uh, gone begging, really. He'll go back to this, the full draw here. He's a bit unsure. Just overplayed it a bit. He on has, him. yeah. He was trying to do a double shot there, like, make sure you're there. Yeah, he might have been in two minds. With yeah. A, make sure you're there. Sometimes so you can... Two. Have we got three? Measuring for three. So, a little bit of a chance. 
pick up a three. Last time I looked over there, Kurt was holding two, I think. Yeah, it looks like two. Jacob Nelson on the run. Yeah. And got the ball through the jack, and it's gone all the way. And is it oh, still it's, in? Yeah, it's it oh. caught the peg, did it? Oh, four shots there to Kiwana. Four shots over the other end there. Wow. Well, I thought he had four up. So, Jack's right on the peg, in the ditch, on that uh, rink nine. Yeah, well, four shots. I didn't didn't realise that other one was in consideration, Brett, that fourth. Fourth yeah, shot. They've got I. four, new leader on this rink. Wow. 15-13 to Brendan and Egan. And that's what we were alluding to as well. Tell you what, if this stays up, it's an absolute boomer of a bowl. <laughs> what a great bowl. Kurt Brown's just drawn. Kurt Brown. Six inches bowl. from the ditch in the back corner. Jack's probably three inches from the from the corner. Holding boy. one. Boy, oh boy. That's a skip's bowl, whiz. Well, I'm going to hand over to Brian Marshall now, Brett. But okay, before I go, I just wanted to say well done to the Gold Coast media team again. All uh, You and Robbie and the crew. Yep, thank you. Tony, all uh, done a great job once again. We appreciate your... Great production that you do for Bowls Queensland at all our events and getting bowls out throughout the world. Thanks, Mark. Thanks Appreciate guys. it. Thanks, Mark. Well, that last bowl over on drink nine by Kurt Brown was an absolute clanger. Absolutely magnificent bowl, He mate. drew to the ditch, ditch. about... <laughs> Absolutely magnificent bowl, mate. It certainly was. I don't get much better than that, though. It would have been a bit uh, dark on himself if he dropped it, though, wouldn't he? <laughs> <laughs> ah, he knew he was there all the way. <laughs> Wasn't worried. So, is that the current uh, score there, Robbie, on 51? Is it? Oh, OK, yeah. Yep. Yeah. Nice. So our live stream rink will be the first off. Yes, They're it playing will be. their 20th end now. Yep. So we've got uh, Russell Van Homrick with his bowl. It's, it's got the yeah, run. It As just it just starts that. working to that breeze slightly. It's The wind has changed slightly, Brett. It has. It? It's changed direction again. Swung it's around again. Yes. <coughs> but a very, uh, there's the latest update there, 13 shots in it, Brett. Okay. Must say a big thank you, though, to our host clubs over the weekend, Capella Bar and Cleveland. Uh, mm. Presentation of your facilities have been absolutely outstanding. See a good-looking bowl here oh, from... Oh, yes, that's a nice bowl. Look at that. Brilliant bowl. Yeah, it's a great bowl there. Yeah, and what was needed as well. Yes. You know, they've they've had a good lead most of the game, and... I'd like to string together a few ends there. And uh, talking of the clubs we've been to and we're going to, um, all our overseas listeners, when the things do finally get back to normal, come to Australia and go to these bowls clubs that you've seen us at. Have a roll up or a game of bowls. Couldn't agree more. Yeah. Come on out and see us. We've actually missed you this year, everybody. Yes. And we look forward to seeing you next year, if not beforehand. Uh, Tom Mullins with his uh, first bowl. Going to be the shot. Yeah. That's a very nice bowl. As you can see, the markers in the middle of the number there. Yes. So. No, you did right, uh, Jim. The top greens in both clubs, mate. The facilities have been first class and their hospitality has been absolutely outstanding. And, of course, uh, a big thank you to all the volunteers who worked so hard over the weekend. And that's the one big thing. You can't run these tournaments without the help of your club members and volunteers. Well, everybody, mate. Umpires. Exactly uh, right. Kitchen staff, bar staff, you name it. People just put their hand up to uh, 
to go and help their club. It's been a wonderful weekend of bowls, and we look forward to bringing you some more bowls next weekend. From the very picturesque Bow Desert Bowl Bow Club. Desert. Now, due to the shot with his first one, do we have a repeat performance? Not too far away. Is it going to pull up? Because if it does, it's an absolute cracker of a bowl. Brilliant two bowls there. Well, wow. Hey, Gary Nordoff, how are you, my friend? Yeah, I know, mate. Good mate of mine for a great number of years. I'll tell you what, it's not going to be too far away. No. Is he going to stop? Is it? Is it? Is it? No, I think that might have just fallen in. Yep. Yes, Kane just drew the shot over there on the... Uh, well, no, there was something going wrong because Peter Lyon's flicking the cane around like he's a Queensland marching girl. <laughs> well, that's Pete's normal stance, isn't it? He <laughs> likes to do a bit of a twirl with a... So, John Finlayson, tell you what, he's got a great line on this one too, Brett. Is he it going to stop, just needs to stop and it's... Oh, it was a fine effort there, but... Well... Um, Norman's holding a couple. And a big thank you to uh, Brett Wilkie for coming in the chair for a while this afternoon. Yes. Fantastic to have yes. you here. It is fantastic having Brett here. Very knowledgeable bowler. Great work of the bowls, Queensland. Yep. I'm anticipating, though, he'll learn a lot next weekend, though. On um, how to drink... Um, no, have nothing to do with drinking, mate. No, no have nothing to do with drinking. <laughs> Playing with me, you should pick up a lot of <laughs> will he be life leading, skills. Will he be life leading skills. for you? Pick up a lot of life skills. He'd be leading, wouldn't he? Yeah, he'd be a good lad, mate. We may even let him go down the other end, stand there by himself for a while. <laughs> oh, nice bowl. Yeah. There's another one. Wow. Well, this is the business end, and they're really starting to show... Exactly right. They're into it, aren't they? They're yes. really starting to show their wares. Belmont holding three shots there. Mm. Kiwana needs something spectacular here. Well, Joel's more than capable of drawing this. Oh, of course he is. At least getting second shot anyway. The, he's had an outstanding one. couple of days. Yes. They tell me um, he's been playing absolutely superb bowls, and it's great to have the big lad back in our great game. He's a true champion. Okay. Look what he achieved in the first half of his career before he had a bit of a spell. That uh, mm. you know, runner up in the state pairs. A very young age too, Brett. That's just it. Yep. He's just dropped in with that one. Just fell. Duna's now got a bit of a chance there. I'm a <laughs> holding three. Uh, good on you, Jamie Dickinson. Look forward to seeing you there, mate. It'll be fantastic. Look forward to seeing all our uh, visitors we've missed this year. Just Mark. great to catch up with everybody. Mark's just saying he can't wait to get out there next week. Mark Hose is saying, yeah. Yep. Cannot wait. Now, Duna, is, Duna can be a yard off the ditch here and get another counter. He's only got to get past the tee to get another counter. Well, he's probably there. Yeah, it's close for another one, but... Uh... Mate, uh, the two crown greens at Bow Desert Mark are going pretty well, mate. Good. <laughs> You're MA Triple D. <laughs> <laughs> Look, a big bowl coming up right now for Charles. Yes. He and really, really needs There's it. a win to the uh, Broad Beach ladies over Bagara. A great game of bowls by the looks of it, though. Uh, 60 to 47. So congratulations yes. to Broad Beach on winning that uh, very prestige yes. title. Back to back for the girls. Congratulations to Bagara. Absolutely fine effort again. Mm. Yes, look. Still, I would suggest three shots. With a bowl to come. 
for Duna. Yep. He only needs to beat his last bowl by a couple of feet to count. Close for three anyway. Mm. Kurt just had a drive and hit the head on the other, other rink. Whether he got a result, I'm not too sure. Be nice if my old mate here would uh, stop advertising his shirt so we could see. <laughs> Anyway, that's it's a state pennant final. Now Duna, if he stops, he's drawn another one. Oh, oh, oh. Well, what you were saying, it can be drawn. It was drawn. That last bowl, shot bowl, four. Four shots was the call, I think. Good on you, Gus. That's a huge pickup. Yeah, it's a great pickup this time oh of the game. Oh boy, Kurt's having another run over there. Yep. Whoa, got him jumping around. <laughs> Been some outstanding bowls played here. Oh, look, under these conditions of the wind and whatever, look, the, yep. nothing wrong with the green, but yep. the, the wind. We had a little bit of rain. You know, they've played extremely consistent and very good bowls. Yep. Eighteen shot lead now at the moment. Another end going to be completed on the uh, Kurt Brown's rink. So, tell you what, this this bloke's had an outstanding game. He's played very, very well, Rick hasn't Barnes. he? He's had, a, he's had an outstanding you game. Know. He really has. Great ball. Russell just coming around the back. Yes. Just making sure he was there. Doesn't yeah. want to be short. Got to give him, give his team a chance to, to get a result. Clinton, well, yes, they got a, at least one and a half hands on the trophy, I would believe. But there's a few ends still to go. Oh, lovely way to go. Yeah, per perfect weight there. Just yeah, it's uh, not too bad. There's a bit of a gap there, so. Yep. Changed hands and not far away. No. Another good bowl there, though. It's going to be in the catchment area. Exactly. Probably just a little bit stronger than his first, but um, still usable. A yeah, good time for Tom to be a bit heavy and put one around the back, that is. Exactly. Cover every possibility. Yep. Now, he's if he gets under this, which he has, there you go, and finished on line, <laughs> making it extremely hard. Anyway. Great bowl there by Dahl. Yes. <laughs> As he's affectionately lame. By his wife. <laughs> By his wife and not us. <laughs> <laughs> yes, well. They will not fatten this head up. Yeah, change over. That's mm. it. Yeah, good call there by uh, Brendan is. Egan. Smart skip. He's going to give him nothing to play at. Yep. a good line on this. Certainly is. Dune is very interested in it. He likes it. Now he called the trail. Oh, look at that. And they're all fairly well on line. I mean, it's it might be time to operate. Well, he has been. Yeah. Told to hit it. Yeah. Got one out. Big crowd inside, watching from inside the clubhouse. Oh, there, there is. Tell you what. Very big crowd inside. Now. The call is right back, right back to the tee from Duna. 
don't fatten the head up. Yeah, good call there by Oh, Nana. of course it is, yes. They kill it, they kill it. Yep. But if they miss, we get another number. Yep. Ah, well played. Yes, you've got to go at it. You've got to try and kill it. Well, he's gone soft to wait this time. I thought he was called on. But I tell you what, he's awfully He's not far close. away. If he flicks the jack, is he going to flick the ball? Oh, he got one out. Okay, yeah. well. They've well, they're only... Well, they're probably still... Yeah, yeah three down. Could, three down, I guess. There's plenty of room to get second shot, but they oh, need a number. Really opened it up for them, really, yeah. hasn't it? Well, overall, yes, they definitely need a number. Yeah, they need three rinks... Yep. To all get like a two or something Three. like that and just to... Have you seen how the great bowl here from John Oh, Fenderson, certainly though? is. If it comes all the way to the line, Dern is going to be very, very happy. Oh, well played. Nice bowl. Well, you've got to go back to the hit now. Yep. Joel just told him to hit it. Yep. Now, Keith... Well, the yellow, the yellow is gone. Here it goes. Now there's but still there's, holding three shots. They're still holding three shots. So and this is, uh, it's only this a one bowl target. Yeah. So plenty of room for Duna to add without fattening the target. He will not get too close, believe me. He can add to that a couple of foot behind. He can add to that a couple of foot in front. This is the last end on this live stream rink. We will endeavour our best to uh, have a little look at the last few ends on the other. Will Robbie's skill, I think we'll be oh, able to do it. Robbie will handle Only that. because Tony's here today. I'm sure we'll be able to tune into another rink once this rink finishes. Would have struggled though if Tony wasn't here. <laughs> of course we'll try and endeavour to do that mate. Now Duna's not going to not going to fatten this up at tell all. Tell you what, it's turning quite uh, quite cool, though. It's cooled off, I tell you now. It certainly has. I think Joel's I think Joel's going to hit this. I think we're fine. We'll be playing back the other way. Yes, he'd like to kill this. I think and start a game because um, even if he takes the bowl out and drew it with his last one shot burn and ends, not going to yep. not going to. Well, one of the rinks that uh, Kiwana have to pick up a good uh, good score. He slid by. He slid by. Oh, I tell you. Because it's 63 to 44 now. Yeah, look, um, Duna's now drawing for four. So one of the rinks must have picked up a good score. Yes. Okay. Soon has gone out a little bit wider. He'd like to sit on that bowl and edge in off it because, uh, okay, fell back as well. Big bowl coming up here. Yep. Got Keith, to hit it. Keith just said hit it. Got to hit it. Oh, he's pulled it right across his body. That's three shots. Three or four. Yeah, three, one, two, that one for three. Or four. Four shots. Well, four shots to finish off the game and a rink win to Brendan Egan and the, and the team. Rick Barnes, Tom Mullen, John Finlinson and Brendan Egan. First finish. A Rick win there. Six shot win. Yeah, very good win. Orchestrated by uh, Brendan Doonan, I thought. Uh, controlled the trips very well he in did, that game. And uh, very nice leading by Rick Barnes in oh, that game. Outstanding. Absolutely Certainly. outstanding. Yep. Yes. 
And Dale played a few good bowls too, believe me. <laughs> <laughs> he did, yeah. No, they all they all combined very well, now, taking nothing away from the Kiwana combination. Can uh, we get the um, side camera? G'day, Leanne. How are you? Yeah, it was an awesome game, wasn't it, my dear? Maybe the side camera, Robbie, if we... Tell you what, Jacob, he's got the jack. Now, what happened? That's his bowl, the, the black one back there as well, or not? Looks like it's got a reddish colour sticker on it, so... Unfortunately, there's not much we can do with this one. No, we people can't. Are... Okay. Belmont's still holding shot over there. Yeah, it looks like Jacob's bowl. Yes, it is, yes. It does look like Jacob's bowl. One shot was the call. One shot. And they're shaking hands. They're all shaking hands. They're all shaking yeah. hands. They're all shaking hands. Um, but the other rink is still playing, so... Only because I, I think they're only completing this end. Just finishing the end off? They'll have to all agree, because if they haven't finished their game and the other rink keeps going, I'm not sure the legality's on that. No, they're shaking hands, mate. And they're all shaking hands and congratulating. We have a winner. Belmont have won the State First Division pennant playoff. There you go. Great win by the Belmont Club. Certainly was. Representing Zone 1. Uh, very, very well done. Hearty congratulations. The boys are uh, doing a few man hugs out there. Yes, look, it's a great effort. Great effort. And congratulations also to Kiwana on getting to the final as well. An uh, absolute superb effort by the Kiwana lads. Yes. And, um, they really tried very, very hard. But uh, this afternoon, the Belmont Club just uh, a little bit too much firepower just, just this afternoon. So uh, Yes, once just they, they chipped away, got to the lead and then stretched it out. And they held a fairly comfortable lead, lead most of the way. And then towards the end, we were only 13 in front and then got that four. And that yep. was basically the finish of that. So there's a lot of man hugs going on out there at the moment. <laughs> well done to Belmont. Yep, no, congratulations, Belmont yes. Services. Services, congratulations. Well played. Right across the board, well played. They got up in all rinks? Yes. That's a fine win. Yes. Uh, we see a lot of the uh, see a lot of the team going out there now. I've been told. Tell the Belmont boys the bars open at Karina Bolo for celebratory <laughs> drinks. Oh, okay. What about for us as well? Or what? <laughs> <laughs> Certainly, Ron. No, it's been a wonderful exhibition of bowls, mate. They. Robbie, yeah. The boys are just getting in the big circle there. We might have a bit of a war cry here. No, it's a hearty congratulations. Ah. It's a wonderful effort. Um, it's a long time since Belmont's been able to achieve this uh, success, so it's an uh, absolute wonderful feat. Done very well. Played well as a good, solid three-team unit. That's the key to it. Yeah. Um, the ladies' final, um, Joy has been on the screen all afternoon. It was a win to the um, Broad Beach Bowls Club over Bagara. Yes. Um, we've just taken it down just to put congratulations up here for the men. So it's been there all afternoon. It certainly has. So. And uh, congratulations to Broad Beach and Bagara. Absolutely yep. pushed them to the limits all the way in that game. No, they certainly have. It's a wonderful feat. And also, too, I said... Um, the Kiwana Club's never been disgraced. I think they uh, did their club very proud the way they played here this weekend. Their participation was absolutely outstanding. Yes. Uh, they had some great wins. and uh, Unfortunately, in the final, there can only be one winner, Brett. That's and, it. Uh, on the day, I mean, they could probably come back tomorrow and Kiwana win by... Yeah. 
third round against Al Jester. Yes. Al Jester was putting it right to them as yep. well, and they just yep. kicked away towards the end. So, Yep. Uh, uh, fantastic effort. Yes, well done. Yep. State pennant final goes to Belmont. Mm. Three rink win. Yep. Well done. Hardy, congratulations. They've um, obviously shook hands early because of 24 shots mm. in front. Um, the writing's on the wall and. Uh, Well done. So we're just waiting for the presentations. Good been a grand final I've ever, I've ever seen. Uh, congratulations to Belmont. Commiserations to Kiwana. Played well. Just the boys from Belmont. It's a little bit better. So we'll now just move on to the runners-up trophy. So with the manager for Kiwana, please come forward. Like I'll let Thanks to our supporters that came down, uh, yeah, and well done to everyone who made the finals this year. And thank you to Cleveland Bowls Club, it was a real credit, we did a great job uh, with feeding everyone, the dreams were immaculate, so well done, it was a pleasure to play with them. And last but not least, congratulations Belmont, and uh, you were too good for us, and uh, enjoy your celebrations, well done. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, could we have the manager up for Belmont, please? Timothy! Hey, 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 hey. What I want you to do, I want you to call the boys up. Yep, we've got a... Fantastic. All right, we'll start with the boys. All right. All right. Is it Mike Pendle? Yep. No, uh, Greg Nelson, come up and get your flag, please. Uh, Dave Barter. Present name all day, Benny, Blaze. <laughs> Kano, Kane Nelson. Uh, Don Bradman, sorry, Kerry Flint. <laughs> <laughs> well done, Thanks, guys. Good on you, Kerry. Well done, baby. <laughs> Thanks for 
Managed and operated weekend for Cleveland. Um, we all knew how good those greens were, but uh, everyone else has come here. I haven't heard a bad word, so that's fantastic and a great choice of venue. Um, for the caterers and bar and all that, was everything ran really well considering how many we had here. To Kawana boys, um, it's a tough battle, but uh, and it played in the right spirit. Every game we had this weekend was fantastic. So, bad luck until you'll. Uh, come after us in Premier League and try and get that back and uh, to our boys um, it's a really interesting group we've got a few of the young boys a few of the old boys that think they're young uh, <laughs> in amongst it all nobody really knows who, who, who we finish it up but we play really good together and um, over the journey we, uh, we to win the flag was the first one in 39 years and uh, we've never been here uh, so <laughs> something that no one can take away from us and well done boys uh, Well, what a great couple of days of bowls we've had there, ladies and gentlemen. I think you'll find that uh, for those who tuned in for most of the weekend, uh, a lot of people were telling me there was... A, on behalf, just the, on behalf of the uh, staff and board of Bowls Queensland, the committee, the match committee, selection and umpires committees that worked very hard through this series, to Cleveland, to Kapalabar for hosting this event, thank you very much. Both venues, uh, greens were in extremely good condition for this series and I'm sure the players here, as well as the ladies that played at uh, Kapalabar, attest to the, the fact that the greens are in excellent condition. The respect given to each other of the players throughout the series is to be commended. Once again, thank you one and all for a pleasant and extremely good series throughout the last two days. Thank you one and all. Okay. Well, with that, with the presentation over, just a uh, a huge um, thank you to everybody that tuned in over the weekend. Uh, thank you very much for those kind words, uh, Larry. We uh, try to do our best, Gold Coast Tweed District Bowling Association. On behalf of Bowl Queensland and co-commentators, Brett Clifford, Marshall, and a big call out too to Tony... And Robbie Allen, of course, done a superb job keeping us the uh, pitches going all weekend. So next weekend, ladies and gentlemen, we're at um, 
Boat is a bolster. We should be a great weekend. Carnival out there. Got some great teams out there. Robbie Allen's playing, I've been told. So uh, one of the superstars, one of the uh, marquee players. No doubt we'll, name will be going all the way through the Bay Desert Shire in the next few days. So we'll get... We'll learn next weekend. So hopefully we'll get him to live stream one of his rinks and we'll show you the things, what not to do if you want to become a good bowler. But on behalf of the Gold Coast Twitter District Media Team, thank you from everybody. Hope you had a great weekend. Look, look forward to seeing you next weekend. Have a great week and stay safe, everybody. Thank you very much. Wish I found it earlier. What a game.